Oh, oh, I'm in New York City, home of a little greasy spoon we like to call McDonald's. Hey, they got whatever the kids like, you know, and burgers, hot dogs. Let's go inside. <laughs> hey, you guys got cheeseburgers? Yes, we do. I'll take one of them. <laughs> That's <laughs> New York. No, oh, I'm in New York City, home of a little bodega you probably never heard of called 7 Eleven. They got a little bit of everything, but nothing good. Let's go inside. Hey, how you doing? You got those disgusting fruit cups that nobody likes. Fruit cups? Yeah. Right over there. All right. Now that's <laughs> New York. No. Oh, this shit's a week old. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm in a city that never sleeps. Home of the Courtyard Marriott. They forget about it. They got so many beds. You can sleep fine. Let's go forget inside. Hey, how you doing? You guys got beds. Now that's New York. Oh, <laughs> introduce the podcast. Oh, man. What's up, guys? You gotta say your name too. My name is Jordan. Jordan Hare. You, you, you can call me Jay Hare if you want. Not a lot of people do. Sometimes they call me that. I finally made it onto the podcast, the weekly relapse. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> you are listening to the weekly relapse with your host, Skylar Potter. Fair enough. <laughs> Matt's being a dick. Yeah, yeah. I met these guys in love. I like the intro. Hey, hey. That that intro song is actually by Bebo Dega out of Austin, Texas. My buddy Sam Quattlebaum. Is a buddy, is a, yeah, yeah. the bass player of the group. They're fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Next time they come through town, I'll make sure you're I, there. I need to yeah, meet yeah. that guy. But I got I got Jordan here. I got, uh, Hello. what's your name? Charleston, South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Viegas is with us, too. <laughs> Historical, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, good job at the open mic tonight, dude. Thanks, man. You, too. It yeah. was a good night. Really the, successful it was a It was a hard crowd, I would say that. I would say that they were like, Definitely. made me laugh, funny, man. I think, like, um, <laughs> yeah. I think my set would have been a lot harder if I went first. Yeah, that was scary. You and you and Akia warmed it up well. I did not enjoy going first. I'll be <laughs> honest. It's been a while. It's been a while. Well, the nerves are about you, but you accomplished the task, I think. Well, it's, well yeah, dude. Uh, you know what it's like. You're a performer. Um, you know exactly what it's like. The moment they're like, all right, you're up next. You're like, I'm fucking scared. And then the moment they go, hey, your name is being called. You're like, all right, well, I have to put that behind me. It's time to do the job. Mm-hmm. That's how it feels to me. Yeah. Absolutely. Literally, a- any auditions like that at all. What? Really? Yeah. What do you audition for? It's, I've done a lot of theater work and a little mm-hmm. bit of film work. Not have you nothing done, notable. Have you done Peter Pan? No. Because I, I got into the acting game <laughs> way too late. I got into it in my twenties. Well, dude, when here's I was a kid. the thing. Here's the thing. You're an actor, but like you're also one of the most bomb ass freestyle rappers. And, like, and that's what's crazy is way like if people. Guy. No, I'm not. Yes. If people okay, saw you, you they would be like, "There's no way that kid can rap." But exactly. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of you while we're doing this. Fair enough. And then uh, I'm gonna post it on my Instagram. You guys go look at it. Uh, this dude is the most bomb ass freestyle rapper you've ever seen. I almost took a selfie. That'd have been a fucked up mistake, wouldn't it? I'm gonna record you as well. I love, I love that so you look you so serious. Is so it flattering? Get, yeah. <laughs> get, the, get the bitches wet, bro. You know what I'm it looks like you're reaching for my hand. Can you, will you marry me? I will. Okay. Yeah, dude. No questions asked. You in that jacket? You kidding me? It's a hundred, <laughs> hundred degrees outside. Yeah. And you're like, I'm gonna wear this leather jacket. That's amazing. Uh, it's it's my Excuse arm, my right? It's my second skin. Yeah, you wouldn't take it off <laughs> the other day. Like George was like, "Take it." Like, are you a cop? Yeah. <laughs> well, he, he wanted me to lift my shirt, and I was like, "Take me well, to he, dinner first. He was man. actually born without shoulders, so it's kind of like he puts padding in there. It's not your fault, you know. That's all. That's all. People where you don't work. where you don't see skin is just my exoskeleton. His arms. I'm an just, android. His arms just connect directly to his spinal cord, so he's just kind of like yeah. a stick man. I was kind of. I thought that was the thing. <laughs> I, I I thought that was it. But you uh, <laughs> you said you got to perform at Lovestock. Yes, dude, that was yeah. crazy. How big that was. Lovestock yeah. was dope. Yeah, my uh, it was huge. My there good were friends, thirteen hundred people. Yeah, dude, they they had a pretty big crowd. My buddies, they're in a band called Smooth Taste. Okay. And I, shout out. I make music with them. Yeah, I, I got. Where can you. they? Where they're, can you find Smooth Taste? You can find Smooth Taste on Spotify. Are they kind of jazzy? Can, you just follow them on the Instagram. They're, they, you know, they do a lot of stuff. I I call them kind of a jack of all trades, but they're definitely like a psych rock band. Oh, you know, hell yeah. but they they cover all sorts of stuff. Like Superstition's been on their set list. Um, they just covered uh, some of the Beatles, so like, there's a lot of love there. Music, they're they're great producers. Like he said, I freestyle, so a lot yeah. of 
the music I've and done. And for the audience, if you're wondering, like, yes, yeah. if you stay too long enough, you will get to hear Jay here fucking. Oh, yeah, I'm, I might spit some rhymes. Yeah. There's, oh, yeah. There's yeah. a ton of talent in Amarillo in music for sure. I, I'm pumped about how many people are showing up to open mics and how how everything's starting to blow the fuck up. Like you were there tonight. Like mm-hmm. yeah. you went you went there with I'm not performing. I'm here to watch. And yeah. like that that's something we really fucking need here in Amarillo. Yeah. Yeah. Is people who are willing to be just a crowd. Yeah. Like and that's awesome that there people are like, dude, it's a fucking Wednesday. What else are we gonna do? Yeah, let's go. I, let's I, go watch some uh, open mic. We're all performers and creators, mm-hmm. but I don't want to be biased in that regard. Like I also like enjoying the yeah. content. I'm a fan of things. I want to go be entertained. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and mm-hmm. like there's a lot of good people that show up to the. You know, you can have those guys at the open mic who are cringe worthy. Right. But there's a lot of talent. I'm sorry, I was there talent. tonight, guys. I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't show up to every one. <laughs> <laughs> Just get your shit tighter, all right, and figure it out already. Uh, that, that open mic yeah. was good. Yeah, I wanted to stay longer, but then I didn't want to wait. You know, I wanted to watch other comics. Fair enough. But I did too. They probably won't go until right now. <laughs> yeah, they're going on like right now. But like th- the reason I I didn't stick around was my girlfriend has to work in the morning. I was like, dude, I gotta get home at least say what's up to them. And then who would have thought a crazy impromptu like I- like impromptu co- podcast would happen? You guys were like, we were sitting here having a conversation. I was like, you know, this would be exactly the as awesome as if we had the mics on. <laughs> oh. Starting a sketch show, yeah, oh, dude, out. that is in the works. I'm content, excited about that. Content, like, daily, daily. Is that what you want content the name to be? Con- content, con- daily. Con- daily. Are we running with that? Yeah, we got it. I daily. mean, it was created in the moment. There's, there's something special in, in that way. Too. He's right. I like so, this. Guy. So, yeah. content daily like is gonna be. Is that gonna be the channel sh- name? Out. Is that the yeah, channel name? Daily. And they'll come out. We'll come out with different. Who knows, dude? But we don't know. We don't even know. But only once a week. Yeah, the content daily. You get you get <laughs> once a month upload. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's also taking a two month break. <laughs> not to get serious with it, it. There's a commentary there on on posting things too. Like the name is loaded, I think, and I like it. I think content daily is a great name. For Dude, the we shit should we, we should make. do content be, daily as like the name, and then have like a fake. Like we know we're fake news, just like like the way like SNL would do it. Just mm-hmm. have like a yeah. fake news, like a weekly update. segment. Yeah, 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 yeah. but like, but it's just us making up whatever news we want to make up we'll be like dude daria's dog ran away like like, <laughs> that's like the big news in the week like is mustard poisonous yeah we don't know we'll find out <laughs> we're all gonna eat we're all gonna have a hot dog eating contest first one to die because of mustard's a bitch loser that's yeah. <laughs> mustard gas no I'll do it. Too far. I don't know. Is it poisonous? I almost almost had a teacher waterboard me one time. I almost convinced (laughs) a teacher to waterboard me. I heard it's not that bad. Well, that's what I was. was my argument. (laughs) (laughs) How was it? uh, Dude, it got to the point where I was sitting in the chair, and they were about to strap my hand. And he was like, what the fuck are we doing? He's like, I can lose my job. We can't do this. Like, I pushed him to the point where he's a, like... There was a kid running to the bathroom to get a pitcher of water. You know what I mean? Like one of those things. Or the whole time you were probably like, you won't do it, bitch. Kind of. bitch. You like won't do it. in my head. But like I was like, dude, I really don't think it's that. Like, dude, you're a teacher. You want to explain what's horrible. Like, let's see what, let's see what. I'm down. Like I was like, waterboard me. I'm, I'm interested in seeing why it's considered like, like torture. You know, like, why wouldn't you be? I was 13. Yeah. <laughs> like I was like, fuck it. But yeah, really I, think, almost, I think it's more. I think that story should have started out. Yeah, like, I almost got a teacher fired one time. <laughs> <laughs> it captures the audience from the jump. Yeah, they're like, Man, I want to hear what your thirteen-year-old yeah. life was like. Did you almost? Get, you, you try to fuck your teacher? You try to get waterboarded? Oh damn! They don't know waterboarding is oh, the shit. outcome of that. That story. same teacher got shot. You were thirteen? Oh. Uh maybe a little, like fourteen, fifteen. Still, yeah, ballsy teacher. Yeah, yeah well, pretty brave. You, you don't believe that shit. Huh? Why'd I didn't. Shoot? I didn't. Shoot. <laughs> you could tell us. But the fucker tried to waterboard me. <laughs> There's nobody else listening. It's just us. <laughs> no, he was a bouncer at a nightclub, <laughs> oh. and that that Damn. made you have respect for him because he got shot on Saturday and he was at work on Monday. And he was like, that is respectful. He was like, I got shot. You can't do your test. We're like, all right, you're was right. Was he I a veteran? Probably. No, he was like, dude, he's probably my age now. He's maybe like 25. I to bet 28. he did lots oh, of shit. coke. Based on a guy I've never seen. He drove met. a Jeep, dude, with outdoors on it. Yeah, yeah he put coke right. inside of his gunshot wound. I, I would imagine that's. I mean, you want to numb okay. it, dude. You're trying to. You're trying to numb it. I like how your natural yeah. accent came out right then. That was. Yeah, that's my Scarface accent. Yeah, no. Okay. You, like you want to flare up? That's how my mom talks to me. Okay. <laughs> I like it. That's how my mother would address it. You ready for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The rice or Ronnie? Cockroaches. <laughs> Forgot about it. He got so many baits. <laughs> I love the way she the way she looks at him when he says baits. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's my favorite part. She's, She's kind of like, did you say bidet? Damn. <laughs> Dude, like, what is, like, I want to know exactly, like, what kind of, <laughs> what's up? Do you guys fuck with bidets? I've never had, I've, I've never, never had one. I've never even seen one. I, I saw one recently on a Snapchat, and it looked like a sink. Yeah. Was it because you're you're watching Theo Von's Snapchat? <laughs> no, I was. It was a friend of mine who was like in Europe right now. He's actually one of the like the fastest runners in America for the like 300 hurdles. Holy shit! Yeah, he went to my high school. He's a beast. He's Dude, pro- that's crazy. Professional athlete. It's crazy. I'm at a point now since I don't have internet. I'm watching a lot of the World Cup. Oh yeah. And dog. It's actually really cool. It's fucking amazing. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't like soccer until like four years ago. I didn't like it. I didn't like it until about I, okay. I watched the the England versus. Uh, it's not Colombia, but Croatia. Uh, no, something maybe something close to that. Oh, I I don't want I don't want like, people who actually like soccer be like <laughs> you fucking asshole. Yeah, of course you're doing yeah, this year. Yeah. World Cup pussy. Um, no, but I was watching the game. I didn't have the internet, so I'm watching the game. And it goes uh, when I tune in. It's zero zero. It's 45 minutes in. I was like, that's soccer for you, right in my head. And then uh, a team scores twice, and then England comes back, th- uh, scores three times, and then that team ties it up right at the end. I believe that's how it went, but it went down to a shootout, and uh, like they both got the first one, they both got the second one. England missed the third one, the other team got their third one, they missed their fourth one, and then England got the fifth one, making it like they they he, they won. Holy shit! It, dude, it was like the last moment possible, and like yeah. I was running around my house, like you'd have thought I'd have been a fan for life, like I was I was about it, dude. And so like I watched a game today that uh, went into overtime, and they actually ended up scoring in the actual overtime, so it didn't go to a shootout, but uh, they're going. I wish I could remember the name, but I guess they're going to the uh, they're like the second smallest country to go to the World Cup finals. Ever. Kazakhstan. It's something close to that. It is the best. It's, it's pretty close to country that country in the world. I really, for the life of me, wish I could remember because so it's like Croatia. It is Croatia. Is it Croatia? Yeah. yeah. Croatia. Dude, Croatia is a beautiful country. So it's gonna be Croatia. You know, in the fr- it's gonna well, be Croatia and France. I did a book report on it in high school. Did you really? And I didn't know shit about it until did that, and I was like, I want to live there. So we had to do a pamphlet. Nice we had to do a pamphlet in high school that was like. Yeah, do I, a do a pamphlet that's like why you should tour here, and I got I, I got Colombia. Yeah, and it was like Colombia. It was like number one thing you should worry about is mosquitoes. They're terrible. Second thing is probably being kidnapped. <laughs> I was like, no one's gonna <laughs> go here. Yeah. Like, why would you go to this? Like, I have to do a book report or like a little flyer trying to like make this place seem appealing, yeah. and I'm like, you're gonna die. Like, that's the, they told me they're like, dude, if you're white, like it's over for you. That's pretty much what my book report was about. It was like how horrible this place was. You did Croatia. Was it like beautiful? They Croatia were like, is beautiful. Like they love everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm like holy fuck. I did. I when I thought of Croatia, I thought of some like shelled out country, in the desert. I was very ignorant. Get a little closer to that mic for me. You can pull it towards right you. here. Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, it Ooh. moves. It moves. There you go. I like how oh, Matt's sure. like. I'd rather tweet. How's that? During this. Sorry, somebody <laughs> just hit me up. No, you got to do it. Yeah, it'll Croatia, call. man. Yeah, dude, the Croatia's the shit, bro. What were, <laughs> what were we talking about? I know a guy. Croatia. Croatia. I was I, texting a chick from the Croatians. Is that, is that, what you say? Is that how you say it? Like I Croatia like the Croatian loves. ladies. There's, there's the DJ Never here who Croatia. calls himself the, uh, damn, I forgot his name. Just now. It was just in my brain. Croatia, he, Croatian sensation. He's Croatian. That's kind yeah, of Croatian, awesome, though. Right? It's cool. It's cool. That's pretty dope. Like, uh, I'm going to that show. Don't have a name. I don't have remotely anything that cool to call myself. We were talking about Lovestock for a Jay second. Jay bro. The weirdest. That's who I am. Thing I saw about Lovestock was I could see the age difference in like my age and then who booked the show um, because they're like, dude, backstage because I, I work at the tattoo shop, so like mm-hmm. the stage behind you is gonna have rap and then it's gonna have a DJ, some DJs. My and buddy was, Cody Potts DJed back there. Well, see, I was like, fuck yeah, dude, and like the difference between this is where I learned my age was when I think of a DJ, I think of somebody like my boy Parrish who spins records, might mm-hmm. scratch and then freestyle over it. Yeah. These guys were like that straight like EDM, do, 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 do. yeah, and like they're fucking hitting switches and and like it was equally interesting. But yeah. that was like the moment I learned my age. You're, I was like, you realize the difference. Yeah, DJ means something DJ. different yeah. to people younger than me than it means to me. Yeah. Like to me, a DJ is a dude up there. He's gonna scratch a little. You know, he might freestyle. He's gonna and he's gonna play songs that you want to hear. On top of that, like there'll be breaks where he's doing his thing, and then also relaxation breaks where he's playing like queen or you know just playing some music that you, that you might like yeah. um but yeah so like that was the first instance i've ever heard there's a dj and then i saw like, that is like crazy. yeah it was cool man yeah i think I most d- of the hip-hop and the rappers were like 
centered at zombies. I have a yeah, they had that they had the mechanical bull outside. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking crazy. I saw. Some, I had to work most of it, man. By the time I got dad, off, dad like he was standing. This little boy is standing right there, and his dad just got fucking thrown onto the sidewalk <laughs> off this bull. And it didn't look like the bull was like like uh, that intense, but he got thrown and he flew over the little guard. The, I'll be the honest. I, was, I saw the thing. It did not look like it was like up to safety regulations for Probably how much padding should Dude, be around. Also, it. like there was like a no open container. Like you couldn't. They had free beer outside the gift shop in the back. Yeah, but you couldn't leave with it. And I was like, that makes sense. We're just gonna walk around the street. I get it. Mm-hmm. Like, but n- nobody followed that rule, and I didn't see a single cop. The Dude, whole time. Uh, there was definitely people there on acid. Because they were we passing joints around in the middle of the street. Yeah, were they really? We, yeah, we launched. I, did, I couldn't believe it. I can't we believe launched I one of those it. mortars, like the, the <laughs> artillery <laughs> oh, yeah. shells, right? Uh, and the, it was like, so it's like kind of behind the DJ, and mm-hmm. you hear a thump, and then like yeah. everyone goes, oh, <gasps> and then it pops in the air, and you hear everyone go, oh. ah, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's funny as shit. Dude, over, you could hear it over yeah. the DJ. It was like it was like one of those like. Yeah. All right, they're dude. They're having the time of their lives right now. Like that's yeah. some of those kids have never done acid. Some mm-hmm. of them are like. They're the ones trip sitting, but they're also three hits deeper than the person next to them. Like they're supposed Fair to be taken care of. It was just like it was a like, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was like one of the few times I've seen Amarillo like cut loose. Yeah, and, but the, the age demographic clearly was eighteen to twenty three. I, I had like the uh, yeah. The creators were actually on my podcast. It's like three guys. They're, was they're it, all, uh, Drake. Uh, Drake. Yeah, Drake. Yeah, Huggy. he was in jail the day of. Yeah, and he and he when he appeared, it was like a messiah returning. Yeah, it was crazy. And this is Where his he last was in jail year. The day of. Yeah, this is a, yeah. In like he, he was got, in my kitchen the night before. Yeah, I guess he got picked up on that, warrants that morning. Yeah, something happened. He got he so, a tail light or something. I don't know. I, I don't want to presume. I don't know, but yeah, we showed up but to do th- to, three to really do cool my guys. check with the with the boys, and he was gone. Yeah, I can't remember their names off the top of my head, but they're do you funny. remember the episode they're number? Dope. Um, go ahead, and, go ahead and plug your shit, bro. Three, it was three or four episodes ago, yeah. on on Clemente's, Clemente's corner. corner. Clemente, we were Spanish guitar. <laughs> Everyone should know that you're a Scientologist. You should have this. Yeah. The but main you promotion find, of your show is you uh, can find my podcast the same place you find this podcast. Mm. Yeah, so. yeah. You, and you can, where, uh, where can we find this podcast? Everywhere, dude. Uh, Spotify, everywhere. But you have Apple. I don't have Apple. Yeah, I have Apple and SoundCloud. He doesn't have those. But yeah, I, I just, also have Castbox. I don't know if anyone uses. Why don't you tell box. me about that? That sounds cool. Jerk. I'm well, it didn't seem like a, it didn't seem like a really big thing, but I can't. I still can't get my analytics from Stitcher or uh, Spotify, Stitcher. which is really annoying. I think I stopped getting analytics from Spotify because no one's listening to my Spotify this month. So maybe I th- I mine just, says zero listens of all time, and I was like, that that might be accurate. So I went through and I personally listened to four episodes, it still and zero. then checked it three days later, and it was like zero episodes of, of all time. <laughs> Same with Stitcher. Like when I ask people, like, where do you listen? I a handful is Stitcher. I have no idea how to navigate Stitcher. It's so like not user friendly. All of that's beyond me. Stitcher mm-hmm. is so complicated. A lot of I've, yeah, you're right. Podbean's probably the easiest. Podbean's super easy. You upload it, it gives it to everybody else. This podcast is brought to you by Podbean. There's Ooh. another thing. Dude, that my hit me last up. guest wouldn't stop Podbean. saying new weir, new weir. I say new weir. New weir. I don't know how to say it. And that was the thing. And so I said it wrong, and I think he is thought it? I said it wrong. So he yeah. wouldn't stop saying new. Is that a name of a podcasting service? If you look it's at the mic, mic, if you look at the mic right below where you're speaking, oh. and so like, and he's really into jujitsu, and every time he said jujitsu, he'd be like, "I Brazilian jujitsu," like, and he would like <laughs> across the table say that to me, and I knew he was being a goof, you yeah. know what I mean? But it, like, I couldn't. It was like one of the few times I couldn't even take my podcast seriously, where I was mm. having, I was having <laughs> way too much fun. You know what I mean? Oh. Like, I was like, I can't wait to air the episode. I'm gonna air yeah. it and. Uh, I have another one lined up tomorrow, so I should be dropping maybe four tomorrow. Damn. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look so at you, man. That's Joe Rogan makes me want to do jujitsu. Yeah. Dude, yeah, that whole crew. That whole crew. Yeah. Joey Diaz. Uh, t- like, dude, Bert makes me want to work uh, out. Like, he makes me want to, like. Bert's cool as fuck, His dude. buddy, Aubrey Marcus. I, I just read his book. Aubrey Marcus. How, and, uh, how was it? I really fuck with his book. It, it's, like one of, it's one of those things, like, giving you, like, some real-ass good advice on how you should probably function on the I daily. Li- I like Aubrey Marcus. I'm reading uh, Jordan Peterson's book. Oh, yeah. That with one's the pretty cool. 12, 12 Steps yeah. to Life. See, I, re- See, I, fuck I with read Carlin's uh, Brain Droppings last, mm. and then yeah. I was, th- was going to read Digging Up Mother. By Stanhope, but it's one of those things that's just, dude, it's so hard for me to read. So uh, I picked up the Zombie Survival Guide just because I know it's a book I like. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read through that one as like a fun read, mm-hmm. and then and then dive into something that I actually want to pay attention to. It's hard for me to make time to read. I think I'm gonna get audiobooks. Yeah, that's see, audiobooks are where it's at, dude. I work like, at. I that's work how at I listen to George Orwell's. Yeah. 
Yeah, like because you can like do something while you're, you're getting the book in. My yeah. girlfriend, when she cleans on the week, like when she's like, "Oh, I'm gonna stay home and clean this day," like on like Saturday, she just puts on uh, she'll just put on fucking uh, the Harry Potter books. Those are all audio books. This is all that I've read or listened to, mm. because of Audible. Because you know, I work all day. You know, I work in a vault at the bank here in town, and I lose. New security guard. Totals. No, I'm just another cog in the machine of the bank. You work inside the vault. I do. Do you get a. Uh like claustrophobic? No, it's not like a tight space, but oh. I, I am like Such inside a, a building. <laughs> I just feel like I, um, if I was in a vault all day, I'd go fucking crazy. I go a little crazy in my own way. I'm surrounded by. He's like, is it like the hatch money, from money? Lost? <laughs> <laughs> is it the hatch? Do you have to put in a number every fucking? You know, I'm do you have surrounded to put by the lotion on your skin. I do. Or it gets <laughs> the puts, hose it, again. <laughs> not the good one, like the water hose. I'll spray you, bitch. It puts the J hair in the vault. It, it does. <laughs> But uh, I'm surrounded by money and none of it's mine, so there's a bit of an existential tease going on it's there. It's a rap line right forget there. Forget about it. I got to forget about it. But yeah, like okay. Audible. I listen to, I mean, I'm you into. You got so many beats. <laughs> I'm into uh, beats or beds? Beads. 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 Low bodega, you probably never heard of. <laughs> Court, yeah, I'd marry it. Just a lot of good shit out there, dude. Audiobooks is where it's at. <laughs> yeah, audiobooks are dope, dude. Um, I'm into like Greek philosophy, Stoicism. I've been reading a lot of those books or listening <laughs> to those books. <laughs> a, fun, nice. a fun one. If you have the time and if you're I, – I, I only recommend going into this if you're already like semi an atheist is uh, Richard Dawkins. Anything Richard Dawkins. I'm a big uh, fan of Dawkins. Yeah, dude. Uh, I just I, – I'm actually – it's one of the ones I will read myself. Like I, instead of audio book, which I'd probably understand I like more. reading a physical book. Yeah. Um, I just don't the, have God the, the God oh, Delusion. The God Delusion is Dawkins. a phenomenal yeah. book. And I also have The Greatest Show on Earth, which is that one about evolution, mm-hmm. which that one's a little hard. That one I might need to grab the audio book for. Mm-hmm. I think it'd be a little. There's a, there's a book. Okay. There's a book by Steven Pinker called Enlightenment Now, and it's phenomenal. It's basically the, the book that counters all of the ideas that, like, the world is just terrible. Like, yeah, like a lot of bad stuff. We're very aware. Oh, that's beautiful. Of all the bad <laughs> Matt's stuff. Matt's over here. Like my favorite book's the Bible. Have you ever heard of it? It is a great book. <laughs> it's a lot of, a lot of historical. It's, it's fun read. It's in thin, a lot of it's, thin it's, pages. It's a bestseller for sure. It did it. Every number time one, about, number one. Every time you turn the page, you got to worry about ripping that motherfucker. You know what I mean? Beautiful pages. Some <laughs> I, of them. I've heard it's good for rolling joints. Jesus but has I've Jesus has tried. red words. Yeah, so. yeah. I thought that was very interesting. They're like, you know, if you're not gonna read it, at least skim the red part. <laughs> <laughs> this is nobody the, reads it, bro. <laughs> that's, that's why that's why people go to church. So they I, don't have to read. I, like, I did, Brad, I did, tell me what that means. <laughs> I did try reading it once I in my tried. youth. Dude, I, I was a very devoted. I, I was it's, too. It's I was very, re- I was it's very jam packed. It's very dense. There's a, there's a lot. To <laughs> there's pick a through. lot. A lot to pick through. And you're like, I gotta listen to what this dude's saying. I'm switching over to this guy. And yeah, then. I mean, there's like, there's like layers within it. It's Imagine that we all wrote a book, but like only certain parts were what you were thinking, certain parts were what you were thinking, certain parts were what I was thinking, and we're like. All right, now follow our words. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think it's like a game of telephone. Like they were and all they told all right about up. this one thing, but then they all kind of wrote their their own take. But I've but, used that as an but example. It blends, I love that example. But it blends together. Fair enough. Fair enough. Like, I think it's I think it's very crazy. Fucking almost almost just it's barbarian almost to think that like my book is right and yours is wrong. I agree. I think that that's a, a crazy thing to think. I think that if you can, if you sit down and go, hey, I, th- I believe this book, mm-hmm. you shouldn't hate the person who believes something different. You should see – I see why they believe that mm-hmm. because yeah. if I was raised in the Middle East, I would believe what they believe yeah. because that's just the fucking norm. So like, you don't have a choice. Yeah, other than like Scientology and so, shit like that. Yeah. I think that like if it's like one of those – like one of like the core, I feel like is maybe the way to put it. And like, like I said, I don't believe in any of them. But right, right. Like – like the same way I don't believe in anything, I don't look down on anybody who believes something because right. I don't know if I'm right. That's that's mm-hmm. one thing. Like it's just, it I just like makes Dawkins sense to me that and way. like Sam Harris, all all their work, but they're they're part of a group known as like the New Atheists, and they're basically like they're just the mo the, the very vocal. Atheists. It helps that Dawkins has the most gentle voice that's ever been he, given to a human. I think being. he's a very kind. I think they're all very kind. But he's like, he's some like, people get very offended right, so. by these guys. Hmm. Like. Like I looked up a video. It's like Dawkins getting mad, and it's me talking to you like, right what, now. What, well, well, well. <laughs> yeah, like it's. Well, let me explain myself. It's yeah. way less aggressive than me talking to you right now. Like he's like, and like he might I get feel like. Attacked. Yeah, you should. <laughs> but well, at, but at the end of the day, you know. You better feel attacked, or I'm doing my job wrong. <laughs> Regardless, I'm still struggling to pay my fucking rent. So. Maybe like, like if there's a God, will you? Just, like, what about this? What about no. this? What about this? I no. approach no. you he and, said I, no. and I go, <laughs> yeah. well, then he, already said, he said no already. <laughs> we got a direct line. That's why you're at where you're at. 
Well, tell him do why. Tell Dude, him if he just said yes already, really hard to understand. shit would be going better for you, bro, if, he, if he'd already said yes. Because there's no beauty if you I'd don't, be really, I meant to tell you don't this, struggle. I meant to tell you this Fair before. Enough. Don't fuck with that too much. Okay. Um, that cable's bad, so if you move it wrong, it's going to start going like... I'm going right here. I'm going right here. Perfect. Mm-hmm. I meant to say something. I was like, you have my... That's why I put you there. I was like, you actually... You understand my control. Vegas, what have you... This is totally off topic, but I'm just curious. Any good movies you've gone and seen lately? Deadpool 2. One of the oh, best yes. movies I've ever seen Dude, in my life. it really is fucking... Okay, I haven't seen it. phenomenal, bro. I haven't it's phenom- seen it. You have... You don't have to see it, but it's... I need to see Celine it. I laughed Dion, the whole movie. The, the whole fact they got her to do that song that was like a Bond intro for the movie, like a James Bond intro mm-hmm. song and like s- scene sequence, yeah. that that was awesome. I love that Tom Cruise is in it for like two seconds. Yeah, what the fuck? That was like... See, it blew my mind. And the whole X-Men cast is in it for two seconds. Yeah, I, dude. I hadn't <laughs> gone to a, a movie. Like I went to Wolf of Wall Street, and then I didn't long realize, ass I didn't realize how long it was, and that ruined wow. the movie theater for me. So I didn't go back until my. You didn't like that movie. I loved the movie. I just I had a plan. My plan was like, all right, hey baby, we can go to the movies, and then we'll go to the bar afterwards, and then we'll go home, cook dinner. By the time I left the movie theater, it was eleven thirty, and I was like, man, fuck, th- fuck that, dude. I I wasn't. Re- I googled the movie halfway through because like legitimately, I was like, I haven't seen anything from the commercial. This shit doesn't seem to be wrapping up at all. And so I Google it. You thought it was going to be short? Yeah, I thought it was going to be like an hour and a half, an hour yeah, 40, like a, no, like a normal movie. Scorsese, it's, it's, I know, dude. It's just, it was, we, went, we, went, we went on a whim. It's close and so to three that, hours. that ruined it. That, yeah, it's like 12 hours long. <laughs> um, so, it's like The Godfather. So we went to that, and then I didn't go back to the movie theater until my girlfriend's brother bought us tickets to go see it on her birthday because it came out on her birthday, and I she like hates clowns. One. We're like, I get it. It's a joke. Let's go. You know, like I was about it. And then, um, Finally, last week, I was so – like, I don't have internet. I'm broke as shit. I had movie gift cards. Mm, so yeah. I went to UA, and I went and saw Tag, which was pretty good. Fair it was, enough. It, but, like – I wanted to see This is what's crazy to me is I had $40 in gift cards, and I spent, like, $38 on getting two tickets, one large drink, and a medium popcorn. And it was, like, $38. Yeah, that's a bitch, dude. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's and fucking – Absurd. And dude. now they serve I go to the beer. movies on Tuesdays when they're like hella Same. cheap. Same. So I didn't know that was an option. And I go to the Cinemark. What's and now the the booze is, is really it, expensive. That's, that's the one at that's the one off Hollywood. It's Hollywood. Yeah, basically. I heard yeah. they have better chairs. Uh, UA by the way started selling booze, I guess, to compete. Yeah. But it's like five seventy five for a Miller Lite. It's so hard not to it, buy a beer now that it's available. It's expensive know? at yeah, Cinemark, but, it, but yeah, I get one every time. I I'm an alcoholic, too. dude. Yeah. I'm an alcoholic, so it's, it's part like, of the I experience. To, I'll have four while I'm there. But did I, you know they check women's purses now? Like, yeah, like if they have a big bag, that makes that it's, makes it's, sense. Well, That's it's fucked up. Though. If it's like really big, they check it. Is what I. What That's I heard. your like private. Yeah, property. no one was checking bags to go to purse though, or purse to go to tags. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Because checking tags to go to purse. You, you feel me? Fair enough. You get what I'm. You, I'm you're kinda, catching what I'm throwing. I'm yes, lost. but we Can went you? to we went to that movie tag, and it was me and my girlfriend. And then as the movie like was starting, another couple walked in, and that was it. Like we were the only four in that theater, but we went on a Sunday. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it was. Yeah, but Wait, uh, is that the movie where they all tag each other? Yeah, they play thirty years worth of tag. It already came out. Yeah. yeah, how was it? It was really good. The cast, really, it was really I, I really, really like that the cast. cast. The cast does look really good. I yeah. saw you guys watch that bar stool pizza review. I've heard of. Th- I think I've I heard think of I've this. I've seen it on like social media. This, is, this guy's like Tony. Like I'm gonna rate this pizza six point five. Like oh he, like, dude, he goes out on the on, he, on the street. He does a new one every day. Uh, this so he's doing one with I the, know what you're ta- yeah. the crew of Tag. He has the whole these cast. famous ass actors. Yeah, yeah, and then this girl walks by and and she goes she, she recognizes out, him and she recognizes the the bar stool <laughs> guy and he goes he's like who who you wooing at and she's like he's like you're wooing at me. Meanwhile, Hannibal Burris is standing there. Ed Helms is standing there. Like, dude, there's John f- Hamm. Yeah, from dude, Mad Men. There's a fucking Jeremy cast. Renner. Yeah, no. Jeremy, Jeremy Renner. Renner. I don't even they're, know who that is. He's an Avenger. There. Yeah, he's dude, Hawkeye. They're standing there. Oh, I like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's obsessed with this barstool pizza guy. And so she, they let him in on a review. And like, dude, two and a half minutes after she's been standing there eating the pizza, giving reviews she knows nothing about, trying way too hard, she's clearly freaking out inside. Because she's standing around a person she highly respects. Yeah. She turns around and she goes, she screams, bro. And goes, you're Andy from The Office. Like, <laughs> and like, that, like, that's why, like, whenever that, when that dude said, oh, you're God. wooing that me, yeah, it was so it. sincere. Yeah. Because, dude, Hannibal Burris, 
That, yeah. Like and Ed Helms, those are the, like Jer- like you said, Jeremy Jeremy Renner, and, yeah, and John Hamm. Yeah, John Hamm. I would like John Hamm may have been the last one, but I would have recognized him still. Oh yeah. Uh, but Hannibal Buress, I'm a comedian. Fucking, I no, love you Hannibal. Hannibal, man. I, and Ed I Helms, love the Ed Office. Ed Helms is in a lot of things. Oh, yeah. dude, The Hangover, yeah. dude. He's in, he's in so much shit. He's in a lot of movies. That's yeah. recognizable for her for this girl to walk down the street and recognize the pizza review guy, <laughs> and then to be startled. It was like one of those things. Where, like I think those actors may have been slightly offended. You know what I mean? Like whenever you're yeah. like you're you're wooing at me, and then like Jeremy Renner's like, "All right, I'm a." That's the that's the 3. power 5. of five. It's the power of social media. It, bro. it has that also that uh, which one's the dude from New Girl? Oh, Jake Johnson. Yeah, he was there yeah. too. The guy who plays uh, yeah, he's incredibly funny. Oh man, he's super funny. Is, I, is he on Let's Be Cops? Yes. My, okay. Yeah. That's what's him. crazy about him is every character I've ever seen him play reminds me of me. Like the character he plays in The Office, or not The Office. Um. New girl, mm-hmm. uh, what's his name? Nick. Yeah, I'm like, God damn it, I'm way too close to that character. Joey, this is pretty much a carbon copy of myself. All the way down to the flannel, and <laughs> like the. I like, wish I had that. Dude, my girlfriend's the one that called me out on it. She was like, "You're fucking Nick Miller." That's that's his last name, Nick Miller. She's like, "You're exactly yeah. what his character is supposed to be," and that it's like that's awesome as a as a small feeling, but the main feeling is like, God. You know, like I've seen that like, portrayed ah. in film now. Like that's what people <laughs> I'm think of that me. Guy. Yeah, it's like whenever someone walks up to you and they're like, "That guy looks just like you," and you look at him and you're like, "Motherfucker, bro!" Like yeah. I look like him. I've been called Robert from every, Everybody Loves Raymond since I was 16 years old. So I've been called Harry Potter, but it's just because my last name. It's not the same. Every, sh- everyone Potter. thinks I look. It's everyone kind thinks of I look same. like that dude. It's kind of the same. Mm-hmm. That's all. I, that's all I thought about when I was watching. I'm dying up here. Other than. Uh, Seinfeld or whatever he said. Who do you think you look like? Seinfeld. Is that what you said? Who Seinfeld. From, who from Seinfeld? No one. I? No one fucking cares about no, what, what I have to say. No. What, what'd you say? You said somebody like that, right? It was uh, Brad Garrett. He's from Everybody Loves Raymond. He's from. No, 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 no. You called him somebody earlier. Oh. John Travolta's son. John, John Travolta. That was it. John Travolta's grandson. We talked about Seinfeld shortly after that. But That's like, right. uh, uh, yeah. So I don't think he thinks I look like John. I just have the leather jacket on. And yeah, the hair. So. And it's the only guy um, I can care. And he got yeah. chills, dude. I don't know. I've who, seen him multiply. So. The golden pony yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm an outsider sometimes. <laughs> nah, dude. What's crazy is you're the most, like, one of the most creative people I've ever met. But, like, if you had to say that you look like somebody, did a piece of foam just fall? Yeah. It just, yeah. I don't, it was Slightly, weird. Slightly, it's still um, okay. I watched your face, too. Yeah. I always, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know who I look like, to be honest. Like, people say, I'm tall and thin. G-Eazy. And I wear, I wear the jacket, right? And my hair is kind of slicked back. They say g easy, but I don't, I don't think, like, if we if we were wearing that's a reference lost on me. A different out. He's a white rap. He's a rapper. I shouldn't say he's a white just, rapper. He's a rapper. Just Google just Google G Easy right now. He looks just like him. I'll do it on my phone. Um, but I you know we don't our faces don't look pictures similar. of G Easy. I think he's much more. Han- he's got a classically like hands. He looks like an old movie actor. He does. I though. think. He I does. really I really think he looks like you know like I mean I can an old see, school okay. like. I guess I can Golden see where people age. are coming from that, but yeah, I, yeah it's the okay. jacket, really. Yeah, well, I'm, a, I'm looking a at a picture without him without a jacket, actually. Oh. Yeah, so I, I mean, I can kind of see that, right? Yeah, that's. I, I, he's from the Bay. I'm from the Bay Area. I, mean, I, mean, I, every, I clicked now, on the only one wait, without wait, a where jacket. Where are you from? I was born in Santa Clara, California. Ooh, and I lived in Santa Modesto Clara. and Fremont. What brought, you, what brought you here? Modesto. I, I moved between, uh, yeah, Modesto. We got, we got to talk about Modesto a little bit, but I moved hey. between there and Carlsbad, New Mexico, where my mom and dad met in high school a few times. I heard they got hella caverns. They got some caverns, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they, it's very kevniv- kevniver- I don't know. carnivorous. Car- That's exactly the word. <laughs> Carne <laughs> asada keep- is consumed in the city of Carlsbad. Let's progress this Cavernous. conversation. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I came here when my parents divorced. He, my dad moved here. He had family here. Sorry to hear that. And my, well, it's all right. It worked out. My mom moved us here. Matt's she, talking shit. He's like, at least you knew your dad. <laughs> That's exactly what I was saying. Well, let me tell you. Like, my <laughs> mom, Fuck you, dad. My mom said <laughs> my sons didn't want me to feel that way, so she moved us closer to our dad. That's why I'm in Amarillo. That's I get that. I get that, dude. So it was mom. My, my, my dad, mom took an L. My dad left early, too. We left the Bay Area to come to Amarillo. My mom took an L so that we grew up with her pop around, and I'm happy she did it, mm. you know? Because, like, honestly, this hey. is where I've grown as art. Like, I discovered all my creativity here. Who knows? I might have been a different guy. Probably up. famous. Butterfly effect <laughs> shit, you know? <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, I'd probably be better if I was last, California. Last night took an L. Yeah. But tonight I'll bounce back. There, oh, my God. I, took a, I feel like I took an L today on stage. But tonight but, you'll bounce no. back. But tonight I'll bounce back because this podcast is 
by far one of the funnest ones I've ever done. Dude, yes. This is fun. I'm glad I, I finally was able to, to come on here. Are you excited for too. the – by too. the way, plug it, plug it. Free show Friday. Mm-hmm. Free show Friday at T's Bar, 10th. I don't know the address. <laughs> it's off a tenth of Madison. What, what time? Because I'm now I'm split it's, on things to do gonna, Friday night. We're gonna start at nine thirty. There's okay. all, there's six comedians, so I'm it'll wrap up probably like around eleven thirty. Nah, right? not even that long. I wouldn't imagine. Well, I, w- I did the math. It was like five dollars, <laughs> five five minutes for Wes, and ten minutes for Colin and Nakia. Oh, no, wait, fifteen for Colin, ten Nakia, ten. Tyler, how much how much time am I supposed to do? Well, you said you want to do twenty, right? An hour. I just want to do whatever you want me to do. You're <laughs> the one putting the show together. I'll do twenty. Okay, I'll probably do eighteen, because cool. I, I I always undershoot, man. I'm planning for twenty five, but I think I might just stop at twenty. <coughs> it's a long time, dude. Yeah. And like, like if it's if it's going well at twenty, then I'll be like, okay, I'll do two more. Yeah. And where's the show at? Tease Bar over Tease, off of right, Madison. They were also participated in Love Stock. Yes, they did. It's a good spot. I've had fun there. Prior to Lovestock, like dude, when it was no dogs, we got away with murder there because I work right across the street. Yeah, and we knew the owner, and like, dude, we got. The, I thought when I when I first started going there, I was like, there should probably be a rule implemented that there's not allowed to be more than four music box employees there at a time, because the moment the moment there was more of us, it got so fucking wild. But we were all yeah. spending a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Like one time, we tried to lock the the bartender kid <laughs> in the bathroom. Like we just got, it just got way out of hand, super <laughs> fast. <laughs> like nobody, they like, just let you do what you wanted. No, they weren't letting us. We just kind of did it. Uh-oh. Like at one point, like we almost got, like we were like hitting dabs in the bar, and like the owner was like, "I smell weed," but like, we were just trying to hide it from him. And like when he found out, he got super upset with us. But it was just it was one of those things. Like like when you're hanging out with friends, like w- it's like you can get w- away with murder in a group. The same way protests work. Like if I'm alone, going like "fuck your cause," no one cares. Yeah. There's 80 of us. They all care. You can march down the street. Yeah, dude. So like, having seven people in a bar who are all wild and rambunctious and spending a lot of money, you kind of get – you just let them do what they were going to do. Fair enough. And they work right across – so we're there every night. It was, it was one of those wild – dude, I'm, I was actually – sounds fun, though. God damn it. I was, I was kind of bummed out whenever they first closed, but I was – part of me was like it's kind of a blessing and I like get in disguise because I was spending so much money there. Yeah. Every night, just having fun with my friends that I was just at work with. You know what I mean? Yeah. You guys should talk so I can clean this up. <laughs> yeah. So. Beer. I'm, I'm really glad I didn't spill this. Sometimes beer. falls and. Oh, the thing is, when I phone. said it there, I was like, "You're probably gonna spill that, but don't. Nah, you you got it. You, <laughs> you, you registered it mentally. Oh man. Forget about it. Forget about. It. I got so many beers to spill. Honestly, every day I don't spill something, I feel like I did well. Yeah. You know. Really? I I, yeah. I, I spill a lot of shit too, though. Yeah. I'm, I grew up. I grew up hella clumsy. I'm less clumsy than I was, but I'm still kind of clumsy. You've grown out of it? Yeah. No, nah, he hasn't. He's just he's lying to you. No, I just feel like there was a time in my life where I didn't know how long my arms were. You know what I mean? <laughs> you ever feel that way? Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I have didn't know how lanky ass arms. I yeah. didn't know how fucking big I was. <laughs> Take it off. I have to use something to clean it up, dude. I figured the shirt was the way to go. I didn't have to go find it. Paper towel. towels aren't necessary. I don't have paper towels. Bro. Newspapers. You're talking about people with money. You should have told me to get paper towels, man. I got beer. Like I was gonna know. Like I was gonna be like, Bounty. hey, just so you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna spill a beer on accident. Yeah. Nah, I I, I buy paper towels like once a month, What's dude. I'm bad at it, and I buy like two or three rolls. Yeah. Did you buy like the double? I try to get the biggest one so I don't have to go back. Yeah. I try to get like I do the same at least thing with shit that's gonna paper. work. You know what I mean? Yeah. I bought like you buy off brand enough. You Exa- realize that shit. I had this conversation. Yeah, that's true. With 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 the roommate, I had this conversation with Colin. It was like you can't skimp paper on paper towels, towels and fucking toilet paper. Colin, yeah. you badass. I've, with I've your been salsas. I've been using wipes instead of toilet paper. It feels way better in my they, butthole. They clean, man. They get the job done. Actually, probably yeah. a lot better. Are they just as expensive or more? They're actually way cheaper. No way. You can get a shitload of them for and like the, three or four dollars. It's like pack full of them. Yeah, it's like four packs of them for like a really small price. It's like I think it's I think it's three dollars. Might be cheaper than that. That's but it's crazy. around that. It's around that. And price. they're like, we need twenty seven dollars for these two rolls. Yeah, exactly. You're trying to get Fuck sh- toilet paper. You man. trying to be Charmin clean, bro? Toilet paper's not. To toilet Charmin paper's beyond not. that. What's crazy is like when we're babies, we have those wipes, you know. But then once we get older, we're like, fuck our assholes. You know, like, like why do we just dry ass <laughs> one ply <laughs> piece of paper? Why don't we keep it going? Like, you know, they write that you down. Know that dude. bullshit <laughs> they put they put in schools. <laughs> what? what oh yeah, like the. Like, they it was tracing paper. It wasn't fucking toilet paper. Oh, yeah, and then yeah, they give yeah, you yeah. the brown paper towels, like, blow your nose. <laughs> You're like, cool, yeah, I just ever. want my fu- face to bleed and my ass to bleed. What's crazy is this. My st- 
schools couldn't even afford Kleenexes. Like when we came to school, like on your supply list is two bucks of Kleenexes. Did you go to, for like did each you go to class. school here? I got to provide my own Kleenex for each class, class, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each class was like, all right, you need. A folder, a spiral, da da da, three packs of Kleenex. It's yeah. like, dude, so what you're saying is I got to drop, like, <laughs> as a parent, you look at it, like, I'm not a parent, but you have to look at that, like, <sighs> this is 80 bucks worth of shit and 75 of it's, it's Kleenex. What the fuck is going <laughs> on? <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous, dude. I, th- I want to homeschool. Yeah. I don't I, know if I want. You children. want kids? I don't. Uh, yeah. There's a part. Fucking I think psycho. there's a I part in me kids. somewhere. You I don't definitely know. like you said that like you definitely want I kids. Definitely. Like, want hey, it's kids. you said plural. How many kids are you trying to get? It's for I'm, some I'd people. I'd like to bro. have three. God damn. You're right. You I are definitely. Hispanic, I bro. definitely want a boy. <laughs> 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 I want a girl too. I want to try try both. I think it'd be cool. Yeah. Fair enough. There's a part of me probably that wants to be a father. I I think I'm more or less afraid of being a father. I think's what it is. The responsibility is it so is great. I can't even take care of my fucking self. It's hard to take care of me. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, I eat too much, bro. Yeah, it's my biggest problem. All right, so I'm gonna get Thomas over here. Boo. So when we, when we when we break out the freestyle shit, one mm. of us will have, like have to hop off the mic. Tell him to rap as Alex Jones. He did that. He did that. Once he could do me. it. No, he, he did that on my podcast. I'm just gonna call him. I'm just gonna so call try him. try to do a rap as like Rick. Listen to how weird he is. Rick and Morty. Uh, bruh. you know Morty. I just gotta spit a couple really dope rhymes. Right, Damn. Listen, listen, uh, you, you know, you know, Grandpa Rick. I, I, I just, uh, I'm I don't ca- know, man. I'm kind of scared. I, I'm not really confident on on the rapping. No, Morty, you just, you never get laid unless you spit. Right now, Morty. God damn it, Morty. I, sorry. <laughs> you have to do that for. Him. We have to like, I, I have to get that clip somehow. Oh, I just, my brain just yeah. shit its pants. Okay, okay Grandpa your, Rick. Your mind was blown in it that. It really moment. was. You killed both of those roles, bro. Okay, I'm kind of Okay. That was so impressive. I've been practicing those, but I, I mean, thank you. Well, I don't know if he's been working over. right now. Like he called me, texted me, that I texted him, so and just cool, walk in, but then I tried calling him, and he didn't answer. You sound just like both characters. The mo- the Rick is the one I did first, and uh, that like it's like you know the burp. Yeah. He's just such an alcoholic. <laughs> how long but, have you been trying? Like how long have you been practicing those? I've probably been doing those for about a year. I'm just like having fun. I love that's, that's commitment. I, I love trying to do impressions, man. It's fun. I you like know it's really good, I David. Like the Rick. He did impressions on your podcast. Uh, yeah, 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 he crushed them. He's fucking Colin great. can kill. Okay, so the dude does a good uh, Jesse Ventura. I was hoping he <laughs> yeah. was. Yeah, dude, he kills it's Jesse so Ventura. Good. It's my the, favorite. I was on the podcast when he did that. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was gonna say he's shit. done that on yeah. this one, right? Yeah. Um, dude, it's between the Dems and the Repubs. It's like shit he's like, like Russian, like yeah. the way he has like the Ashes down, yeah. like yeah. yeah, dude. uh I was hoping Colin was gonna be at the open mic tonight because I was like, if anybody's gonna appreciate what I'm going for in this bit, like without like breaking commitment to one idea like it's gonna it'll be calling and like the moment the moment i was on stage and i was like i hope you guys aren't offended i'm gonna keep talking about kids for like the next like eight minutes and i was like if colin was there i wouldn't have said that <laughs> like i would have been like i definitely have the uh, the audience that i need no, right it was now. it was yeah. a good line though because it made it made the crowd laugh yeah did it yeah because i was very serious and it made him like i think it opened him up more to laugh once you like said that y- you were like it's okay we're gonna have fun with this i'm gonna like, just continue talking about kids. He, I, I don't know. You were like guiding them through. Yeah, it was, the it was bit. smooth. I had to. You, you had a good. Like, I couldn't have too. high energy. I was like, if I go too high energy, they're gonna pull back. It was like one of those weird things where yeah. I was like, if I go any higher energy than I'm at right now, they're pulling back. Like they're not gonna jump on board. Like they were already pulling back there. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, I see that. And I, I could that. be wrong. Maybe if I went like crazy high energy, they'd be all about it. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I felt like so. That's why I was a little calmer. I was like, I will just tell the jokes. I think I th- I feel like maybe they wanted like permission to laugh. So when Fair you like, when you say something like that, it kind of like, oh okay. It's like, what the fuck this you think I'm comedy. up here for? <laughs> yeah. like, I don't he, think they get it, bro, because they weren't <laughs> laughing at the beginning. Yeah, they're like, I, I said I was a comedian. <laughs> they're like, you're it. allergic to bees. <laughs> Does this guy need like a? Why'd you lie to us? <laughs> Why need you... some medicine? <laughs> so when does he Who start playing the... a song? Anybody have an EpiPen? <laughs> <laughs> Can't breathe. <laughs> uh, I got a cousin allergic to bees. I carry one just in case. <laughs> just in case. I know he frequents the open mic, man. But no, they were like when when you, your beginning of your set, I was like panicking because I was like, oh shit, because I thought I was up next. So I was like, damn. You're like, I ain't ready, I ain't ready. Like, this crowd is not feeling it. No, they weren't. But I think I felt like halfway through. 
it was, they finally started catching they, on. They liked the sister bit. They liked my opening. And then I was like, kids suck. Am I right? And they were like, okay, we're going to. Well, because they, <laughs> were, cause because they were. They we're were going to hang back. They were all like second. kids, I felt like. Well, yeah, they are. It looked children. like there was a lot of teens in there. Yeah, was, they are. Like, they're essentially. Like, they just left the environment I'm cheating on. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're like, so, I, I just <laughs> enrolled in college. <laughs> like, the, t- <laughs> the two people I called out one time were. Uh, I saw them. My I bought a bunch of alcohol for my little cousin. He was throwing his first party ever. Yeah. And they were like the first two people to show up. And I was like, hey, y'all look familiar as shit. And they're like, yeah, we just graduated high school. Da, 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 da. I was like, those kids are 18. I didn't I didn't realize they were that young. But Of course you did at one point. Like, dude, when I first turned 21, my favorite thing was buying my 19-year-old friend's alcohol. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm the cool guy. Yeah, and dude, now, get the dude, now I dare you to call me and ask me to buy you. Uh, it's dude, too much you could work. Be, you could be 27 and be like, "Hey, can you can you buy me?" Fuck you. <laughs> like I, I I would literally unless I love you like as a friend. Like yeah, absolutely, man, I got you. But like, you call For me, sure. I haven't talked to you in four weeks, and you call me like I said, like we haven't even thought about communicating. Like, a, like an underage person. Yeah, like like uh. the, like somebody you run into. Yeah. Like, like call me nowadays and ask me to buy you alcohol. I'll be like, dude, probably not gonna happen. <laughs> like. That involves me standing up from what I'm doing right now. And it's like, oh man, this I would, NHL but I'm, game is I'm, crushing. I'm, I'm currently right now. doing something. You just make up a lie on the fly and like, tell them you're out doing something. You could shit. ask me to my face. Or my favorite <laughs> one is, oh, I would. I'm at work. Oh yeah. Well, nobody there. fucks with that. They're like, oh shit, yeah, yeah, right. okay, yeah absolutely. You are. I, I, I know what that means. They're like, God bless. You have a yeah. great day. I you're you're doing your part. And you're making. You're you're doing something for yourself. I just you type, pay your rent. I just type in. Hold on. And never answer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that works too. That's really <laughs> that's the worst. <laughs> that's the worst way. Like, can, can, you give, can you give me a second? That's the and equivalent is like like spitting in someone's <laughs> face as you walk away, like from a real conversation. Like, would you ask me for a dollar? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. like, you just walk away. Making excuses is so hard though. When Will like Sasso, I, I feel like it's better to just be like me. no. Well, I was hoping Thomas was like gonna get back at me because I wasn't gonna see if he was gonna come over. He probably wants to, man. I'm gonna call him one more time. He probably wants to freestyle as Alex Jones. La da da da. Will Sasso. That was an amazing sure podcast. Sure, he does an Alex Jones. <laughs> it was so much fun. Clemente's quarter. I wish I knew the episode number. Spanish I'll, guitar. I'll look up. That needs I've, to be I've on I've there, never dude. called someone in the middle of a podcast like I'm gonna have them come over. Put them like, on the we're... mic. What's your intro music? I think you change it up a lot, right? Dude, throw on my some Spanish music? guitar after Dude, Clemente's I corner. I change my intro music depending on who the guest is. Oh, cool. Like that's they, ha- that's actually really cool. Like, if they do music, then I'm like, I'll put your music on. Cool. Yeah, see, that's dope. My Echo t- Echo just put out his uh his one-take contest uh thing. I'll play it at the end of this. It's fucking sick. I think I played it on the last one, too. Nice. But I'm going to keep playing it so you guys can go vote. Make sure to go vote for him, dude. Uh, the one take Uh He... Did really well last year, but Ali Tomanique won. Uh, I I'm I'm excited to see Ali Tomanique's video as well. But Hell I yeah. want you to freestyle. You down to freestyle a little bit for us? You want him freestyle right now? You're talking to you me. You don't have to do it right this second. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to both of you. I'm talking <laughs> to <laughs> both of <laughs> you guys. Whenever it needs to be done. You want to do it right now? I can do it whenever. You got it. You got it. What if I just play this? Like, what if I just? What is that? I don't know yet. I just clicked on a video. You gotta turn it up. Uh-huh. Turn it, turn it up. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your relapse, get it like that, you're feeling it. From the bomb city, hit it with a rhythm, knock it down, locked in within them. I can take it like that, run the town, what? My clock, the nine to five, five to nine on my mind, man, it's money mine, take another dime, gotta pay that rent, the money be spent. I just wept about it, I don't give a fuck about it, negative that, turn to positive rap, the ACDC electrical mindset with the map, yeah. Hey, calm me. Funny with the jokes, man. Dropping on the city, man. Token on the good, but everybody up in love. It's the way that we give. It's all I got. Uh, just right. kidding. Got more. Just kidding. Got more in store for you. Knocking down the door. Hit it like that, man. Knock it, knock it, knock it to the floor. Going hot in the paint. I made a new job. Fuck Cleveland, go to Lakers, baby. Let's get it up. Yeah. What's up? That's a LeBron joke. His hairline's a joke. <laughs> He fixed it though. Are Matt, you, are you gonna go? Are you gonna flow? Go. You go. Want me to flow? Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, Matt. Uh, Matt. Total yeah, freestyle. Girl. Keystone. Yeah. Rhymes with stone. About to bone. I go to foreign homes and I get clones. Uh. No sense in my rhymes. I do my time. I did the crime. You know how I go in all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's 
that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. No, I, don't, I don't think I can do you it. You can. Man. Not on my own podcast. Can. I just no, can't. you definitely can. Uh, yes, no, you can. No clones of ghosts. Yeah. Maybe we talking gnomes. Matt's over here giggling like a little girl. Yeah, yeah. You feel how I feel. See, I'm not drunk enough yet, dude. It's I right. just, just can't do it. What you say? Hey, hey. I'll feel one. I'll feel one. You gotta keep going yeah. though, cause this is your moment. You want this one? Yeah. A B production. Yeah. I'm All right. about seduction. <laughs> We're drunk as fuck. You know I'm on la, 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 fuck la. shit. <laughs> I'm my punch a bitch. Chris Breezy. Knock it down. Chris Breezy. Down. Breezy. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he can oh, never shit. live that shit down. Chris word Brown. word. Can never live it down, Chris word, Brown. Word. Can't live it down, Chris Brown. Gotta know it now. What? (laughs) Chris. Alright, hey, this one's called uh, Summer. What do you have? These YouTube beats. Yeah, we're just we're just going we're just gonna go through them. Oh, dude, Summer Breeze sounds like it's gonna be nice. I gotta play. We have a nice little Summer Breeze. Summer loving. Happened so fast. I like my song better. (laughs) I do. (laughs) So, John Travolta's great grandpa. He had to hit that. He had to. <laughs> All right. Oh, I fuck with this West Coast stuff. I like this. You already, hey, I'm from you, the West Coast. You heard, you heard like four <laughs> seconds of that. Not even. Listen to it. All but right. he saw the palm trees. He was like, hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Right. Bad hey. bitches and good weed. What's your name? Jack okay. Hair. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the table. The cast is set. We're all here so able, full body with the map is sped. I gotta add it up, spending too much time Wondering if I can really define my mind But I can tell you right now, upon it all that I grow I gotta knock it down, cause this style is my flow The rhythm that I spit, it somehow got me Like my own bloodstream, it's inside of me And let me tell you what's inside of your vision I gotta tell you no division, unity is the rhythm I gotta say, that's a lot of spray Can you do it real fast? Pop, pop, AK. Spend a few minutes of ramming like minutes and rumming around. Rummaging through the dirt and the dust to find my own style. Maybe I'm better than that, or maybe I'm rebel to rap. Could Jay really fucking find a place in the city of rap? Maybe not, but the bomb city too small. But it's a tiny ass bomb, gonna fucking explode. Yeah, so let me take it for a minute right now. My brother's on the podcast, making the funny city yellow town. Right. We just gliding, gliding, gliding through the night. Ha. Right, we just gliding through the night. Alter ego, no suit, no power. Except for the vision in my head, may it flower. May the rains fall down and the sun shine upon my brothers. May we just get better, man. Pride to our mothers, and pride to our fathers, and pride to the city that we came from, cause we're getting some more brothers. Let's sit up, let's sit up. Dreams, that's what you gotta carry on. Huh. Yeah. We just gliding through the night, gliding, gliding through the night. Ha. Right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. All right, dude. Thank you. That was I like that beat cool. a lot. See, I, I'm, I go for the more, like, that's the style that I, I want to kind of create. That, that's a good beat. I like I that. I really wish I was able to do stuff like you that, You murdered man. that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, thank you, guys. If thank you want to do another one, just I'll let me know. I'll do as many as you want. It's, it's, it's very cathartic and fun for me. Do you want I want it to stay fun. I, that's one do thing. Do you see one of these on the list that you that maybe? Do you want to join my band? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I haven't started. You don't yet. even Please. know the name of my <laughs> band. <laughs> uh, they're all on me like they want to hold hands. Purple pills. We all love, uh, <laughs> we all love Marshall. At least I do. Let's see. Marshall Matt. I don't know who. Oh, uh, okay. Blunted that beats yeah. is good. I, is I really like dude, a J Cole. It's a J Cole type beat, is what the thumbnail says. I like that little bit of art too. Oh, this is almost like as peaceful as the last one. Like less happy. Maybe you're going through some shit. Right? This is a J. Cole type beat. I was gonna judge Saturday. the shit out of it. This is dope. Alright. I'm constantly questioning why I gotta post so fucking much. Every fucking minute, man, another click, another like, swipe right, what's up? Uh. It's so much visions in my mind with anxiety because this internet time is what is all about me this piety to this god this black mirror in my pocket i pray to i can't get enough why 
I just wanna be me and grow and just thrive But I gotta fucking get more likes, you know So you better subscribe to me You better know that my shit is on the top of your list Podcasting in this is why we get it Is it just one time? Is it fallacy of my own modern mind? Yeah God damn it, man Gotta get my likes, I gotta get my swipes Oh, yeah. oh shit <laughs> I need you to double click and swipe right, yeah Man, fuck, I'm just lost in the haze, lost in the game What the fuck is my name? I don't know But put a filter on it, you just gotta know Turn that frown into a smile and everybody gonna grow But is it real? Where the seeds at, man? Can we truly feel? Is it too serious to pop about this vision? That's why I deleted all that social shit No division, this is my own time To find a different mind Sit under the sun and smoke some bud for a while And take some good trips you know what I mean. Take some good trips and find my own scene. Hey, God damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. yeah throwing those ad libs, man. We need that. You got it. Skr, skr. Let's get it. Skr, skr, skr. Yeah. That would definitely be my ad lib if I was a rapper. Yeah. Meow. You know, Morty. I like to I like to do the hip hop sometimes. <laughs> you, you know, sometimes you just, you feel it. Uh, uh yeah, Grandpa Rick. Uh, oh my. I God, I don't know. I could try. You, you better bring it, Morty. You better not embarrass me this time. This ain't Xana Guardian Three. This is some real this is some real Bomb City sh- shit, Morty. Okay, okay, Grandpa Rick. I'll, I can do it. I can do it. Damn it. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Talking with the flow. Um, fuck, I'm drunk, Morty. Let's get the fuck out of here. Drop it to the television, vision mine. It's crazy how I find a couple bud drinks and slide. I don't know why, but I'm going 88 miles. That's a Hollywood dream. Man, I gotta get some style. But I just had a bigger dream than what my body could provide. And that's crazy, cause these city lines are not enough for my mind. But I got to grow, you know? Busting out the scenes with my brothers and they so He fucking found a way to talk to himself He's spitting jokes, it makes him feel good in the health It's good my wealth, so let's just grow like this SNL And fucking hit it in proud for a while, no hell Damn, bro. Right. At the end, bro. Like I didn't cut that. That was that was the I end was of about the beat. To say, I wish we recorded that, but we did. <laughs> it's fun, man. It's good fun. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm, I I might try to find a way to extract that as well and put Definitely. that and just put that alone. You could do the. You could please do. Please put could that do somewhere. A, um, please put that somewhere. We could just keep it's doing. It's a free beat. We could do these all, every time I, I'm on the podcast. But you broke. You release them as a freestyle. Let's just do a thing. podcast where the you three had of us a, watch you freestyle. You had a Rick and Morty feature. I feel like that shit would go viral. It was super improv, but I don't know how good it sounded it sounded, it sounded amazing it sounded, <laughs> it sounded so fucking good great. Right, i was cool, i was cool. losing my shit because it sounded real yeah. it sounded like rick and morty was yeah i watched right you you're like jesus christ <laughs> man you know logic dropped a, a another mixtape and uh there's an intro yeah think, yeah, yeah. The intro with rick and morty because like he was a, on their show it's like bobby tarantino too bobby tarantino like and he was like okay morty there's two types of logic. There's album logic, and there's like I'm gonna fuck some titties mixtape logic. Okay, okay, Grandpa Rick. Well, I, I can like whatever. I can like both, and it's yeah. it's pretty funny. I I, I really like the mixtape a lot too. I really do enjoy them too. <laughs> you the, want a Kendrick Lamar type beat? I like Kendrick. I like him a lot. I respect all these rappers because they're like soap. some serious uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. I don't know if I can. We could. We can do this. Throw in some ad libs when you feel it, okay? All right. Ad lib on Yeah, because I, I, I guarantee ad-lib you I'm not hammered ad-lib. enough to freestyle. I'm only good at it when I blacked out. Hammer like mm-hmm. That's what I've been told anyway. It's all right. Maybe I'm a whore. Mm-hmm. Ain't got no time left. Click, clack, click, clack. Click, clack when the watch go, uh. Click, clack, let the time just fly by. Click, clack when the watch go, yeah, yeah. Click tock when it all flies by. Oh, BC, why you send me? I tell you, I got empathy. Two enemies, one in mirror, one standing with me, yeah. These eyes so clear, so take it back and I'll do that wheel steer. We'll find some fucking time to find a new time easier. My money spent on some beer, my money spent on the pain. So I sank it like I circled the fucking periphery road drain. Alright, perennial skies, die, 
the Pleiades, they shine these things in me. I cry, man, sell my ship to thieves. I tell you, come miss on me. Am I commiserating with ancient Greeks? Ote, okay, oh, Socrates, Aristotle, and please, it's just philosophical for me to spit my mind on these things. All right, just play your keys. The black and white unity, it's about city streets, it's about piety. Okay, oh my God, society, my brothers, they got tried to me. They speak their truth when they make their jokes, you better know no time to poke, yo. We focus, I, I, the clock is so dead. We fly away, I, the locust in my head. I need to find, find that peace of mind and set my time sunny side. Up. Mm-hmm. Clock, clock, clock ticks on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Podcast, y'all. Oh, come on. <laughs> Talk about man, let's just get down, yo. Take another fat toe. I just love to smoke. You gotta do the the weed. You gotta DJ you gotta rep weed when you freestyle. Right, right. You gotta have that. Oh, the sound. Yes. Weed's the F baby and the F is folk. All right. Weezy F baby. Anybody want to spit with Jay? You know, leave me up here I by tried. Jay hair with the hair. I don't care. Mm. Good job. Yellow City Comedy Productions. <laughs> Just like Yellow rip the City beat. Comedy <laughs> Productions. Yo, Tease Bar Friday night. Friday, 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 yeah. Friday, Friday, Friday. Friday night. <laughs> let it up, let it up, city left. You got to put your own echo on there? I like that. <laughs> oh, it's inside jokes. Damn, damn, damn. That's dirty, bro. That's dirty. Friday, 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 Friday. Friday. <laughs> night, night, night. Comedy, 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 comedy. Y C C. Hey, <laughs> yeah. jokes be telling by a bunch of different odd fellas. They yeah. be trying to tell their life while they're up with the mic. They trying to make you laugh. Maybe perhaps all night you'll go home going, yo, you gotta see this dude. Right. Got a nasty jokes and he'll get you high too. After the show, he's the guy with the long hair. He'll be. Looking at you with a thousand yard stare because he can't do much. He's too high. Yeah, too high. all the time, all the time. Just so stoned. That's my freestyle Cause, for the night. Cause, cause, cause it's that good. Was good. That was good. I'm hella proud. Hey, that's a cool beat too. That was a fun one. That was, like, I like I like that darker sounding shit, dude. What's crazy is like we're recording. This is my podcast, and for sure. But like this is something that we've done before. We've gone all night. Like me, you, Thomas, and George the High Guy. Oh, yeah, we're we here till like four in the morning. Yeah, yeah, till like four in the morning. Yeah, that's fun. It was after a show. It was after Whiskey River, right? Yeah, yeah. It was after. Yeah. Oh yeah, I hit that. Yeah, that yeah. dab that night. Yeah, dude, that was the night Shoot. that I was having an anxiety attack because there was thirty people in my house and my yeah. girlfriend was sleeping like yeah. eighteen feet away. Yeah, that's well, why I was like, I should probably leave. I don't want to contribute to the anxiety. It, it, it can. It <laughs> can it, I was feeling anxious. I was so, having, uh, dude. That's why I was like, let's go out in the, let's go on the porch and just well, get some air. It's one of those things. I'd have been having an anxiety attack had there not been anybody in, like, or had I not taken a dab, and there was just that many people, I still would have been freaked out. But I took a dab, so I'm like already like yeah. aliens are probably real. What if the flat Earthers are right? Like I'm already like on that <laughs> level of paranoia. Be. They might be. You know what I mean? On that like I'm wrong about everything kind of paranoia, right, and then right. I turn around and see there's like a there's. It, there's thir- like, there's probably 17, maybe max. Like, I would say between 12 and 17. But yeah. in my head, it, was, it looked like 400,000 people. There was just so many. They're in the living room. They're outside. They're in, they're in my studio. I was like, dude, this is the night that I get in hella trouble. My, I, I didn't know how my dogs weren't barking. Like, I have three dogs. I was like, how are they all so quiet? The, the, there was yeah i don't know i don't know how we slid by without <laughs> your dogs are awesome though but dude yeah i think everybody was anxious it was a weird night until because until it was george us four. was the one handing out those dabs yeah no and he I'm was like, doing that on purpose what yeah he definitely was he, and he, i'm like he what? gave me like a really small one i was like give me a full one and i regretted it no, immediately he, he, <laughs> he, <laughs> he gave me a big ass one and i did it and then it that was fine and then it five minutes went by and i was like whoa i was on the patio talking to thomas I was like, I need to – that would be a fun rap is, like, something about, like, just, like, a, a – just a, a rap from the the perspective of being extremely paranoid because you're high. Yeah. yeah. Like, that'd be kind of – I know kinda... dicky has got his – I got a way too high. Have you yeah, that but, one? dude, Little Dicky, are you talking about Little Dicky? Yeah, he's yeah. – he's, His cypher is insane. His ra- – his – okay, have you heard – He's got bars. Have you heard for the real, track he did real. over – he did over – you were making fun of Drake earlier in your bit. Yeah. But there's a – 
I can't remember the name of that song right now. I'm just going so blank. Was it by Drake? Yeah, but he does uh, – it's Russell Westbrook on the farm is what he's named it. And it's yeah. so amazing because it's kind of a series. He talks about no, – That's a good song. Him thinking he was going to make it – yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The comedy thing was going to be his way of making it, but he never thought the rap could carry him because all the doubt, him being this, yeah. you know, this was white it a, boy. Was it a freestyle? No, it's a it's, – you should look it up because it is quite – It's not Westbrook freestyle? Uh, I, I mean, or, I don't think it's a freestyle. Click on the very bottom one. Just West, Westbrook. It's called – Westbrook Russell on, Westbrook on a farm. On a farm, but Westbrook, just t- just Westbrook that, will pull it that's up. That's the one that'll it'll pull up. I'm trying, guys. Are oh, you good? I'm <laughs> there it is. It's really good, man. All right, uh, I'll fucking jam it if they pull it. This is a good album too. Hey, Texas. Nothing was the Love same. Your yeah. Home the- if uh, if they pull it, they end up pulling it. I honestly, I honestly like Drake. I just wanted to make a joke about Drake fans. All right, because you, you've been watching too much Chris uh, D'Elia. I, I, I appreciate <laughs> it. You can show. You can play at least like a couple, like, like a. A minute of it or something. I'll do whatever I want. I don't think I have enough listeners for it to matter. It's good, man. <laughs> pound cake. Cake, 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 Yeah, cake. that's right. It was pound cake. Paris Morton music. I don't like the beat, to be real. First I'm, off. He's flow, though. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Uh, ain't no doubt about it. Shit is coming. And I'm just praying that little dicky love it. I always told myself that this the type of shit I wanted. I was being honest, even made a promise Not with anybody else, this was in the conscious Talking to my fucking self, that's a little bonkers I know, I still got a lot of shit to conquer I hope, that ain't even my concern though You know I'll be working till I get what I deserve Whatever totems I can personally, you know I'ma earn those This ain't even about some shit up on a checklist This about the fact that I'm about to test this I'm about to figure out what my best is I can't avoid it because now your boy invested And I ain't got a choice except to smile and accept Mm -hmm. it Pretty reckless Pretty restless cause I've lived my life expecting love to come the second my attempt was done And yeah, I guess to some extent I was correct because I'm getting buzzed But now I'm about to be ubiquitous Look, Look it up. up Yeah, or that's at least what I'm assuming But as alluded to, reality is looming And now your dude about to make a move and take the truth And hope to God that when he threw that what he thought about is proven But honestly, I'm not afraid that it's delusion I'm hot enough to where I know it's not illusion But obviously, I've been finding this confusing This ain't even close to what I thought I would be doing Don't get me wrong, I was born to be big But I always figured it would be the comedy thing So I started rapping just to see what drama it brings But big dogs from sitcoms would holler at me And as the time passed, I rhymed fast, the lines crashed it was high class as I master my craft and goddamn bad flows man like this. back in 2010 good. music wouldn't make that list I'm talking top five to ten strengths with no wings I would not lie my pen dry with no ink or that's at least what I thought till I clawed and scratched the pen till I saw a line draw have you heard uh, then I could have let could bygones I be, Jesus? be bygones yes. but I really I love wanted that to song so much. yeah I like it a lot too dude what's crazy is a lot of people don't they look at me and go you don't listen like they just assume I don't listen to hip hop yeah it's, it's, it's well they look at me and they probably don't think it either i imagine i, mean, I don't I look I like a rapper reggae. by any means I assume I, I, everyone I, listens to hip-hop i just assume there's people a lot to love i out think there. people assume i listen to like reggae or like metal which i used to listen to metal which makes i, sense. I listen to like I love a, reggae a bit too. of everything i love know? i love and that's not to metal. be it's not to be eclectic for eclectic rugged metal like i'm sure you're all metal i'm sure you listen to a lot of shit that people would never guess Probably yeah. yeah. Dude, I listen to like a lot of like I like. <laughs> Bro, Florence and the Machine dropped an album. I like pop. And I, music. I like Irish music and I, lo- I and love I, like, I, watch, I, I like love a lot. acapella music. I fucking love that. But there's this band called the High Kings, and they they're not necessarily acapella, but they do the, like the Rocky Road to Dublin. Mm. And I just fucking fast. love that song, dude. It's yeah. like it's one of those things like I'll get drunk and play it around friends or like. Like it's like one of those like weird looks for like. You you mentioning Florence, dude? She covered Stand by Me. Really? Phenomenal. And they used it in, like, uh, I think it was, like, one of the trailers for, the like, Final Fantasy the last I'm going to have to look that up. But it's very fucking good. It's already a great I, song. I but, love her voice. But there's a lot to like out there. I think people are too, people are just so cynical and, yeah. like, assholes about things. And it's like, it, there's a lot to enjoy in life. You can. There's a ton you, to enjoy. You can like a lot of shit. And it, you don't, and to each his own everybody's allowed it's because to l- it's too many people watch the news they like to dis- <laughs> yeah. you can dislike as <laughs> much exactly stuff too. And, <laughs> and they, and and your they invest just themselves in the news like they watch it and then they take it for word and then yeah. like, as soon as yeah. they watch it's it it's unfortunate it's the only thing they think about and they go out in the world 
But and they either preach Skyler, it. Skyler, it's talk all fake, about, remember? Yeah, everything's fake it's news. It's all fake news. <laughs> the, Trump said so, though. Yeah. The news is basically just, here's the people you shouldn't like. Commander in queef. <laughs> <laughs> if you're Republican, you shouldn't like immigrants. My favorite is, yes. like, I love watching <laughs> Alex Jones, dude. It's hilarious. Uh, like, Turn in the frogs, yeah. gay! How is that not the most He's famous? so entertaining comedy routine you've ever seen dude and for him to have come out he's like it is an act <laughs> he had to openly say that because yeah. all that because the court shit with yeah the, yeah when he's like he's like it's a character battle. i'm playing and it's like it's and then so joe, much fun to watch during this custody battle joe, joe rogan got them all stoned i bet that didn't help the fucking battle for the <laughs> daughter or whatever george joe, soros joe rogan was hel- was was doing the daughter a favor joe rogan's <laughs> part of george soros yeah <laughs> he, he, he he thinks that uh he, uh, he's like he's uh, been captured by the Nazi. No, George Soros is a Nazi. Okay, Joe. Like that's <laughs> I smoke once a year. He's like they 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 don't want it's you to test think. The THC. They don't want you to think. They don't even sell tinfoil in in Walmart anymore. My favorite was he's, he's like, in the studio with Joe Rogan. He's like, all right, Joe. All right, you're like, are there aliens? You ready? You're an alien. We're all, we're all aliens, Joe. Like we were not we're not from this planet. Like he was like, dude. <laughs> Joe like, Rogan's like, but wait, hold, hold on, hold. But how? And how? Joe Rogan's like, I bet in his head he's like, I have millions of listeners. This is like, this, uh, there has to be the only thing going he's through like, it. This is gonna be great. Like, this is live. I don't even get the chance to go. Like he can't do all that and go. Hey, don't air that. It's like no, dude. It's on. Like we yeah. had, we yeah. had yeah. forty-five thousand people watching it live on but Facebook. I mean, he he was probably ready for that shit though, because uh, he said him and Alex are friends. Yeah. Oh, uh, one of a good one. Like he's oh, got to be a chill dude. Right? You you've watched Joe Rogan. You've watched. The, I would assume. I would assume. Actually, I would assume. Yeah. But he says all this. Very and he's like friends with Stanhope. Yeah. Though. So he's yeah. got to be chill, like when he's clocked out. Yeah. Because he, he, he says some pretty not cool. Th- he stirs the pot, which is not that's his job, though. That, <laughs> yes. How else is he gonna sell those supplements, dog? Fair <laughs> enough. Fair <laughs> he's got some that shit on his website. You wanna look really fat, not fat at the same time. <laughs> what, yeah. What about Gwyneth Paltrow's crazy ass shit she sells? You, you know about this? No. What does she sell? She's got like. St- there's like stickers you can buy, and they're supposed to change your mood. It's <laughs> fucking bullshit. It's it's stickers snake oil. She's a snake oil. Right. Thomas is finishing a drink, and then he's on his way. I'm willing to go long enough if you are to freeze to, for you and Thomas to freestyle together. I'll freestyle some more, Absol- yeah. dude. Yeah, freestyle absolutely. Some so, like I don't know the what smoke. finishing a drink means, <laughs> but well, he yeah. should be on his way in the next 15, 20 minutes. He should be here. All right. All right. How long but has this podcast been? I think we're going to like an hour and 15 right nice, now. Nice, nice. Yeah. Bro, when that poet – sorry, are you saying something? No, no, go ahead. Uh, I was just saying like when he was like – when he called the 806, he's like, this is the best crowd I've ever had. You guys should appreciate this. And then you think like really deeply about that like there. Yeah. That, that is a really good place to have, especially for this town. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. I think for you guys – like you like that shit's that hard to like find. Like that's why I, I tell every comic it's I know. It's a good platform like, for I would, comedians, I think. It's a good it's a good rule of thumb. If you can if you if your set goes great at the eight oh six, it's gonna crush outside of it. Because yeah. I call it like, yeah. and like jokingly, but I do call it Amarillo's little like Hollywood LA, like everyone's already offended. It's the most sensitive crowd by far. By far. By far. Like there's you can't get away with a lot. So if you can get away with yeah. something that's crazy and it goes well there, it's either going to fall completely flat because yeah. you wrote it for that audience or it's going to crush because you got away with it. And like, that's like me saying anytime I have a joke that has the word faggot in it, I test it at the 806 before I'll take it anywhere because they'll let me know whether it's cool or not. Faggot's a good word. <coughs> yeah, it's kind of a bummer that we there's just not allowed to say it. There's but like, power behind that word. It's definitely. a great word. It's a really great word. Well, it's just, it just, it just has its punch. Like yeah. Fuck. Like and like fuck the thing is, is I never word. used it's it. It's like we couldn't say fuck. I've Just never say, oh. called a like a gay dude ever. I've never once been like you're a faggot. I've never done that. I but don't I, typically call people. Names I would love to, to like, know? but like Nerd. I called yeah. Matt a faggot earlier in the day. Like that's it's just a fun. <laughs> it's just a fun word to throw out there. Yeah, it's like, like yeah. we were no we, hate behind we were it. alone, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? We're at the bar. We're having margaritas, which is uh, arguably one you of the gayer You were alone. You're at the bar. You had yeah. margaritas. You which kissed a, a little. One bit? of the arguably one of the hey, most gayer situations we've been in. Wish you invited me. And I and I called him faggot in a non-gay way. I was like, oh, you do. You love basketball. You faggot. Like called him faggot because he's being a faggot. Yeah. It's funny that you said basketball. Too, being it's, a fag it's something that that's not even really. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's it was very, just an opportunity uh, for me to call thing. a man I fucking uh, call my friend a faggot. That's yeah. all it was. I Fair call enough. most yeah. of my friends fags. Fair Why enough. wouldn't you? Yeah. Why wouldn't you? 
It's, it's like that's what it is to be a guy, dude. If you find out, like, like not necessarily just that word, but like you find out your friend's insecure about something, he's embarrassed about something. Yeah. What do you do? You make fun of him till he's either over it or he's not your friend anymore. That's just I feel like that's my mentality. That's <laughs> like a natural fucking. And if you're really insecure about it, you'll come to me and be like, "Hey, dude, don't talk to me about that." I'm like, "Okay, dude, I didn't realize it that, was that, that deep." That upset me. Yeah, I didn't realize it was that deep. I thought you were just like a little. Like the same thing of like I like I don't know like I mean I'm insecure about about rapping in an extent. That's like, weird though because you're trash. phenomenal. I, I don't have a I don't have <laughs> with they, I'm just fucking with it's you. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem with doing it. You know I'm not embarrassed to do it, but it's like if I I, I have an anxiety about taking <laughs> taking it serious because of all the 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 arbitrary things that are stacked against me. I'm this white guy from Amarillo, Texas, yeah. who. Doesn't even look like any Try other white rapper. Try wearing a bandana. Maybe it's not look, me, man. Maybe you'll look more you brown. I mean? Well, the thing is, I think I think something you have in your size is the fact, like you I just want to be authentic with it. That's why it works. Yeah, it for is you. authentic. That's a hundred percent why it works for you. And I I noticed during yeah. every one of the freestyles you spit just now, none of them was like gang gang, fucking getting bitches, getting ho- nothing was like that. It was True. all in. It was all intellectual. You had thought process. True. You're using thought patterns that are outside the norm. You're not using yeah. words the way the modern people would use it. You use it in a secondary fashion, which all of that is something to be confident in. Well, well, thank Damn, you. I feel like I'm on American Idol right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I say yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, man. I mean, I. It's a yes for me too, Simon. I think, I think it's an avenue. You know what? Dog? I was a writer before, so it's wordplay, and I, I don't know. It's cathartic. I just wasn't feeling it, dog. It's, it's all right. But you still got two out of three votes, so you're going to Hollywood. Yeah. You're going to Hollywood. Yeah. Put the golden buzzer. Yeah, I'm Howie, dude. Like, got the golden buzzer. That's yeah. how that's how the ukulele chick won. Yeah. Wow. Dude. There's Grace. a fourth buzzer? There's a, yeah, there's a, there's a, they each have their yeah. buzzers, but yeah. then they have, like, the, the golden buzzer on, on America's Got Talent. If, like I think each I, I imagine I, this is the rules I've only like, I, bear, I rarely garbage. watch it. The Golden Buzzer is like unanimous. Like oh you no no, no it's not even that it's it, I think I believe it might uh, is Howie each each judge Howie's the only one I actually know uh, Howie and the other people get you each get one gold buzzer I imagine like a season a season okay um, because I watched one the other day where the the host. That chick that's apparently a model who mm. I think looks yeah. like garbage. I'm not trying to be rude, but no, it's just I don't think she's. Who is, is it? Heidi Klum? No. Oh, not no. Heidi Klum. Nah, it's some some tall chick. Um. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know her name. She's got long legs. Is it Tom yeah. Brady's wife? No, Giselle. She yeah. gorgeous. No, nah, yeah. I've never liked her. Face. Not not her. I like her. But uh, face. she comes out from behind the stage after an act, runs down into the audience, and hits the gold buzzer. So I feel like it's like every person who works like that's kind of bullshit though. Yeah, and then what it does is I not it, even kind of. She's it, a fucking host. Who the fuck aut- are you? Yeah. It automatically gives it them a, get them to like the the live. I know it's like honestly, if I, know I was it's a like judge, automatic, but I thought I was, it was a unanimous thing. If I was a judge, I, you're probably I would trip her. you're probably more accurate than I am. I, like I said, I've only been out of the internet all, for like the last two weeks. So you, I'm going you, off you what I've seen. You give the host a call? No, I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, well, who's the host? It depends on who the host. I'm sure they do. Okay, hold on. Okay, in that argument, in that argument, it's a very edited show. If Jay Z was the host, I'd be like, please, you go hit that buzzer, please, sir. In that argument, yeah, yeah, Jay. Listen, yeah. would would you want <laughs> Anthony Jeselnik uh, on last comic right st- on last comic <laughs> standing? Like would you want him to have a call in what you were doing? Who? Uh, Anthony Jeselnik, because he was the host uh, of last comic standing. Just and so, then, like Roseanne, unfortunately, would I want uh, him to have a call? Yeah, would uh, you want him to be able to hit that buzzer if he found you fucking great? Yeah, but but like the host isn't uh, like. Well, I guess you're not, you can't really be qualified for that because it's not just music. It's like they do flips, and they eat fire, and they do all kinds of weird shit. Yeah, that's true too. So I guess everyone's qualified. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, like, you 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 got a good point. Got well, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I, I if I crushed and Anthony Jeselnik was the host and he thought it was good and the judge thought it was not, if he had the opportunity to go, no, I want to see him there, bam, right? <laughs> I can't see Anthony, Anthony Jeselnik. I can't see him doing that. I can't see him liking my comedy. To be <laughs> yeah, honest, me either, me either. Yeah, he'd be like, you fucking suck. Hey, you're a hack. You didn't insult anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Roseanne Barr was another host or a, a judge. Who else was a judge on that? I don't. I only watch one season. There's that one dude. Uh, j- I don't like him. What's his name? I remember Roseanne. Who's the guy? Who's like who? He did the. the when uh, I was watching Russell Peters was a judge. Really? Yeah. I didn't watch that season. I think the last one I watched was with Roseanne. Um, that dude who did the Colonel. 
Norm McDonald? Norm McDonald. He was a judge. Yeah. Norm. I don't yeah. remember which season I watched. It is Russell Man Peters and voice. Roseanne. That's a crazy idea of a show. That's a scary. It's almost as scary as set list. Like going up without a set. Yeah. But like you have to like you're gonna burn your best material and you still might not win. And then that material's fully at the public at large. Yeah. It's not like putting a YouTube video up. But honestly, it's, like I feel like if I were to watch it on TV, I'd still want to see it live. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you don't know what they're cutting out. Like you yeah. and I both have that idea of. But maybe it's just because we're comedians. We work in that. We work yeah. in this. <laughs> yeah, we we understand that not everything that's set on stage is what you get as far as the video goes. So you're right. You might want to go check them out. But still, it's it's a scary. It's a, like yeah. right now. I get I'm like you got 20 minutes on national television, mm-hmm. and then you either win or lose. You have to burn everything you have. The I feel like the pros that way the cons unless you just bomb. Yeah. Then then you're probably fucked. <laughs> then you're out, dude. Because yeah. no one wants to come see you live yeah, because no of that. No one's going to pay tickets. And then you're you still doing bomb. that same 20 on That's, the road. That is scary. That show doesn't even exist anymore. Probably for good reasons. <laughs> like <laughs> We just explained why it sounds terrifying. <laughs> that is terrifying, bro. But <laughs> imagine winning that shit or even like being top five, top three. Dude, imagine just being on it, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's I good mean, enough. It's exposure. but If you do well on it, that's great exposure. L- what if you go up there with your like third – level material and you do that and you know it's good material you've done it on the road you know it works so you go up there and you you hit level three and you know you're gonna lose but you didn't burn any of your gold shit so everyone's still interested in going seeing you yeah but you still have all this like your a and b material to give adam when they do come see you like they loved your c material that'd be badass yeah would That'd you, be crazy. You guys got like, you get a deal what, right away. What's your you mind on right uh, what's your mindset on like Second City? What is that? Familiar mean? with Second City? I don't know what it is. But is that is that a okay, city next I, to this one? You guys keep no, it up. Well, there's that. Okay, so I mean it's like one of the top. Let's let's look at it. Okay, the the thing it says right here on Google, the world's premier comedy club, comedy theater and school of improv. And there's like teleperformances that are all the time and have them in Where? Like LA, Chicago. They see, travel? It's like a, it's like a, pl- let's see, we'll, we'll click it. Me and Colin, he talked to, I think this is the one he was talking about. Is there you one know? in Houston? They're, no, they're, the location of Chicago, Toronto, Hollywood. Damn. So Hollywood it is. I mean, I'd be wanting to go to LA, man. That's where the movies are made. Yeah, I've been in LA once. My first passion, I mean, the, the, the music thing is very fun, but I acting is still the what, dream. Um, so you want to be like. In big movies, what's your what's your goal with acting? Do you want to be good just, in theater? I just want to be. Good I just want to be. I want to feel be at a point where I feel like I'm like really growing creatively as an actor. So that means like if it's stage, if it's a television show, if it's yeah. films, I want to do. You know, I really enjoy the craft and I I like learning about it. It's it's something esoteric. Like mm-hmm. it's weird. Acting is it's it's a it's the weirdest thing I've ever done in terms of like anything creative. Yeah. But it it feels most fulfilling, and I I think I'm just wired for it. I don't know. I'm by no means like amazing. I don't think I don't want to toot my own mm. horn or anything. I'm very bad at that, anyways. I but feel I, like I you're s- probably good. Something that you can like grow in, and yeah. uh, I just enjoy it. So it's like, go do what you want to do. Yeah. I do love movies. I'd like to be in films, all sorts of films. But you know, it's yeah. weird when you tell people you want to be an actor and you want you want to be a film or television actor, like. I, I when I was in film school I was an extra in some movies yeah and uh, I mean you get a you get a taste you see it's a it's a job that people have yeah. it's not that ridiculous that's cool it, it is hard it's a creative craft and there's mm-hmm. a lot of people that try to do it there's that but I think a lot of people just look at it as some strange thing that some it's like it's immediately a pipe dream daunting task yeah it it, it is it, damn I think impossible. anything anything worth doing should be difficult absolutely and it just so happens we're creative types you know we want you yeah. you're a comedian you're a writer. You know, that's like, no, but I hate to describe that so, a lot. How I feel about comedy. Yeah. Cause it, I, it's I a real get, thing. You're like real people do it and we do it. Like, you know, yeah. I, I do all this work at the community theater. Plenty of people do that. I'm not, uh, it's just hard to talk about even on the podcast. Yeah. I, I feel like I sound like a crazy person for saying I want to be an actor. No, like I get ideas. But that's not fair to us. I get ideas all the time and I write them down and they end up making people laugh. And I'm just like, is this. Like it feels like I'm supposed to do this. Exactly. Like it, it's 100%. like a, it's your it's your calling. It's like a vocation. Yeah. Like what else am I gonna do? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm not gonna be happy in an office. I'm not gonna be happy in a construction job. I'm not happy at my fucking job right <laughs> now. I'm just <laughs> trying to pay the rent. You know. But for sure, for sure. But you know, and the music is something I discovered through the acting, like because of me doing shit with the theater. Yeah. And all that, 
So it, you it's, didn't, it led me to people, musicians. You didn't rap for fun your whole life? What no, was your first, like, you said, your, what was your first theater thing? The, like, the first time I ever did theater? Like, that, yeah, made you want to, like, Pre- take, oh. take on this, um, this, this well, role of, like, trying my, to pr- like, I always wanted that. to be an actor, um, but I never thought, I knew deep down I wanted to be an actor, I never I thought I could do it. <laughs> That's why I bounced out for a second. Fair enough. We all, I'm going to have to go here in a bit. Yeah. But, um. Thomas should be here in a second, we'll have you freestyle, fa- we, we yes, can call it man. after that, but I, I want to, I have to see it. I have you to know, see it. We can do it. Well, but for the acting thing, you know, I, I just grew up immersed in pop culture. My parents were really keen on what, like, my I would Saturday morning wake up, my dad's making eggs, and he'd be like, let's watch some TV. And he'd flip through the TV looking for movies, and he'd be like, oh, you know that actor? I'm like, no. He knew all the names, you know? He's yeah. Like, this is who they are. And so I, I, I clicked to it. And also, it's it's like our own modern mythology. It's narrative. It's storytelling. It's the oldest. Humanity's been obsessed with sharing stories and telling stories. In the for, best for of ways, too. Yeah. So I like narrative, you know. And uh, I never knew I wanted to be a performer. I always thought I was going to be behind the background. I think that's just because I was shy as a child. But I, dis- I was discovered it later. I was very shy as a yeah. child. And I, I don't know what made me that way. Family and stuff it's, wouldn't tell you I was. You know what I mean? They'd be like, he was wild. But, like, yeah. I, once I was comfortable, I was I, was I identified definitely as, like, a shy, like, timid individual. There's, I still have a lot of that in me, but... I hate... Like, that's that's the craziest part of the profession I'm chasing. Yeah, dude. Is I, I get hate anxiety. being on stage. I don't... I, but I love it more than anything, I love too. doing it. I think I get anxiety about what leads up to it. Yeah. Because then once I'm doing it, I'm like, oh, no, I, I got this, you know? But, like, the anxiety of going... Like, I, like there's a part of me that hates being on stage yeah but there's a stronger part of me that's like i fucking love being on stage dude yeah you know what i mean do you 100 percent. yeah you hate being on stage no i love being on stage but like i hate i hate the build-up to being on stage the 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 whole day (laughs) oh god damn it i don't know why it's okay puppy i just told her we were still recording luffy come on buddy (laughs) i love the energy though you're beautiful. He, he brought it like, he brought <gasps> oh it in. Oh my God, you're beautiful too. Indica, she's a sweetheart. She she's is. the thing, like. She's a little turkey. The thing about her is like, oh. she'll fucking, she barks at you when you don't expect it. Like, I'll be in here by myself and yeah. I've been in here for an hour and sitting in the same spot, like writing. And all of a sudden you just hear like, <laughs> like I'm like, and like, it scares the fuck out of me. So I get mad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause like, nobody, it's like the air horn effect. Nobody likes being scared. Like, like if I, if like, you're right. if you guys were all talking and I was like, but sometimes it gives you pleasure, you know. Really? Yeah, like when you go to a like a haunted house and you someone jumps out and you're like, oh, ha, ha, dude, you know? I don't like that. Today I was I was about to take a <laughs> shower and I was like getting undressed or whatever and I got the water on. And I turn around and like Indica's in the door, and like I turn, I saw her like, ah! like like I had a, like a legit gut scream for the first time in like probably like <laughs> six years, bro. And as soon as I got that screaming, I just started laughing. Cause like I didn't like it, but it was like when I was like I scraped for such like the like it was the realest scream. Yeah. It was as, it was it's always e- good to have. It was just as equal as if I turned around and you were naked holding a chainsaw. It's always good like, when you don't scream like a bitch, dude. It I've was done that a couple times. It was not cool. I did not. I was like, I started laughing because I was like if anybody saw that, <laughs> <laughs> like dude, like if anybody if anybody saw that you shit, you scream like a seventy year old man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, it was a real fear. It's fucking crazy. Your dog barked at me. Yeah, dude. Did it scare you? No, but I, I thought... It was, I <laughs> that thought dog's it, so pretty. I thought it was weird because it walked right by me, and I, I pet it, and then I went to the bathroom, and then it, it was like, <laughs> I don't know who you are. It was very strange. I thought, I thought that was Maybe weird, too. Maybe he had too. so much confidence that he was like, hey, what's up, bro? And then hey, it, wait. Wait, I don't Is know you. Is that a fucking leather jacket? <laughs> hey, I hey. don't know. Nobody's <laughs> who's wearing a leather jacket <laughs> in July, bro. Get this motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, people are very <laughs> confused by the jacket quite often. Oh, what's crazy is you wear it all the time, dude. Have that's you ever seen me not wearing it? No, no. That's why it's why it's weird. It, and then it's, it's weird it's as like, shit. And do you wear it at work? No, sometimes. I'm gonna fucking. Show I didn't me. today. I'm gonna show up. At Matt your work. asked me that earlier. When I'm I, gonna show up to your work. I'm gonna fucking. He see works. He shit. works you in, can't, a, you in a theater, so he could. No, he could I, I work at the bank. The I work, I work at the bank. He works inside a safe. Exactly. You remember? You were so blown. You were so blown away by the whole thing. Like, wait, you're working a vault? He gets claustrophobic. He works in a theater. <laughs> the theater. They've got, they've got uh, clips on the money that explode if you steal them. <laughs> Have Dude. you ever seen a die pack go off? No. 
No, that'd be awesome. We don't have die packs in the building. We should. Why not? Yeah, why not? None that I know of. <laughs> That's because you're not up there, bro. I guess not. You gotta join the Illuminati. You're just the, the vault packs, guy. I, like I said, I'm just exactly. I'm That's just G E Z R vault guy. I'm just another cog in the goddamn machine. Just another cog in the machine, Miriam. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, man. That was that was me and Mr. Probably. Anderson. <laughs> oh god damn it, I hate you. <laughs> oh shit. I need Thomas to show up. I'm I'm excited yeah. for the freestyle. Did he finish his drink yet? Thomas. <laughs> yeah, he said hey. he was like my phone's dead. Will you call him? I is Is dead? Like yeah. legitimately you died? He says about to die. Oh Thomas. I'll call him. I'm gonna call Thomas. him. Thomas. Third phone, um, third phone call on the podcast. I'm breaking say. records over here. Titi. Titi. That's his name. We're only an hour and a half in, which is not as long as I thought. So. Have you had, like, really long podcasts? Yeah, like two hours. He does, like, five-hour ones. No, I've never I've never gone over. Th- what? I've never gone over, like, 245. Huh. Hey, what's up, bro? You on your way? I like, I like when they go two and a half hours, though. It's fun. Like, if you're having that much fun for two yeah. hours. <laughs> it's a good time. I'd like to go. Yeah, like, I'd like to go at least an hour twenty. <clears throat> right. That's not bad. That's what's up. Hey, so we're we're in the I middle like of the podcast. I was gonna have you freestyle, like, Jordan. When you get you don't here. get to know someone until like they're an hour in. Like some people don't get comfortable until they're forty. Yeah, minutes but to like an hour in. we're just already like, like an hour and a half in. So good. let's let's let's, let's yeah, make it happen. I mean, we're we're well right. in the throes of this. All right, it's yeah. a good thing. Cool. He's on his way. Thank God. He's leaving. Well, he's leaving the eight oh six right now. Like that area. He's leaving that part. I'm like. You hung out the 806 for an extra hour. No, I went across the, the street to that new bar we were talking about. I wanted oh, to watch. I wanted yeah. to watch Christian. Dude, by the way, man. the guy who's painting all that shit on that like the the, the, the bar building. directly across. Yeah. He also did Game Quest. Yeah. There's that Johnny Bravo and all the Tick. Is that what yeah. it was? The yeah, Tick. The Tick. Um, that's all my boy Parrish, dude. And he's a freestyle artist. He's also a DJ. He's the DJ. Whenever you say the word DJ, he's the kind of DJ I think so about. So do you think if I linked up with him, we could make music together? Absolutely. When, like, uh, okay, make music, what do you mean? Like, like, like make up, like, if, make he, if, you, if you brought beats, no, he's I not you that kind of guy. He's the guy that makes the beats. He's not a DJ. Like, like, he's a DJ in the way that I think if he scratches and does shit like okay, that. Okay, but we could do live performances together. Absolutely. That's, yeah. that's his, he performs live Every, all the time, dude. I gotta link up with him. Man. Um, that sounds awesome. right after our show on Friday night. We're all going over there because he's ha- they're having a rap show. See, I need to rap show, okay, bro. Why aren't you there? Yeah, well, the, why aren't you there, bro? The thing about Friday night is you're I don't the know, best one in Amarillo. I got a lot of places I gotta be Friday now because my boys are playing Bad Luck Bash. Well, I don't I, even know I, what that is. It's every time we play either. Friday the sounds 13th, bad. We call it the Bad Luck Bash, and the, the, the Smooth Taste is gonna play at Golden Light. Fuck, is this Friday the Thirteenth? Yeah. <laughs> We have a show on Friday. But I'm gonna be late. <laughs> you already told me that. Fuck. Why? But you're you're second to last. If anything, we we do Friday the Thirteenth tattoos. I'll just let you headline. No. <laughs> it's the whole reason I don't want to. You want a headline? Headline, dude. Like it's it's so much pressure to be the last guy on stage. No, I'm just saying, if you're not there, you have to. I get that. But I, you like, but while you're on stage, you have to send a motherfucker to come get me. If I'm not there by the time you're on stage, yeah. Like as they're like introducing you or whatever, you need to send the key over and come get me. That way okay. I can. That way I can make sure I'm there. Cause I'm right across the street. Yeah, I was gonna say, aren't you like 50 yards away? Just like more like fucking 150, but yeah, yeah. It looks like a football field from there. Plus, right? Maybe. Can't probably think, not. It's I probably like 85 feet. Of 85. I've never actually been on a football field. I feel like it's happened. <laughs> like, ever? <laughs> like, yeah, what? You've never been on a football field? No, what am I going to do I out there? I feel like it's less than I, I mean, I feel like am it's I going to play hacky sack you're, on a football field? You ever Come played on. Ultimate Frisbee? It's 80, pretty fun. 80's probably accurate. 80, 80 seems right. I play a lot of Madden, right? We yeah. were crushing that NHL game. That was Virtual. fun as shit. That was fun. I, Especially because we, we won. Did we play? Yeah, we played on a team. Yo, okay. That's the new thing. It was like 5-2. to We kind of kind of I just want to delve into this are there any video games you guys are pumped that are coming out the <sighs> red dead redemption yeah i was yes. gonna say that one there's 100%. another fallout red dead 2 fallout uh, 76 uh, i haven't beat fallout skate 4, 4 yet. and session i heard skate 4 is a thing i know for sure session i've is heard a about thing. another skate uh, have you seen the thing for session no it looks like skate what i, <laughs> they I have you to know be pretty bummed there's a new skate coming out um the new spider-man it's gonna be fucking amazing whatever grand oh yeah Spider-Man it, looks it, dope. But it's PS4 exclusive. Well, most of the games I'm excited for are PS4 exclusive. Why do they still do that? Well, Xbox it, has exclusives, too. Yeah, I know, but I like, mean, why, why do they... Because they, they have... Is it not more marketable if you reach another audience? Not um, just because it these developers make, have it a relationship with... It doesn't make the system as is, uh, is, is interesting to get. 
and they're also they're 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 making it with this hardware in mind, even though they're all pretty comparable. But what I what it really is is like these relationships between mm-hmm. these developers. So uh, Insomniac that's making the Spider Man game, they made all the Spyro games and they made all the Crash Bandicoot games. They've yeah. been with Sony since. Fuck yeah! Way all right. fuck and those if you if you can have a game come out right now. Like Any that, of them? No, like, like, or like uh, a hypothetical. I was just no, 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 game. like you can't make a game up, but like okay. something that used to exist that hasn't had a, a, uh, another oh, one come okay. out. Yeah. Like Prince of Persia. Like, fair enough. Fair like enough. make a brand new or like or some shit like that. What game are you making? Because I know which one I'm going with, but I'm gonna save it. Like what what game? If you could have them make a like a sequel to that you haven't. Could seen. I just could I just remake an old game? Yeah. I would remake HD remake Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. That's a great game. That's a great great game. What are you going with? Oh shit, that's such a hard question. It's hard I'm as sh- fuck. I, I already know what, my answer. The though. one I want was I have one. two. I have two. You, you're allowed to name two if you want to name another one, Matt. I want the Warriors. Okay. I want. Damn. Oh, dude, but that, they had one, dude. I love that movie, by the way. Mm-hmm. It's fucking amazing. And that game they had, Rockstar the made. The game that, was better than the movie. The Rockstar made that game. Man. Yeah, yeah, but then you make it, both of my are Rockstar, and he already named a Rockstar, by the way. If that's telling you like how dope Rockstar is. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like so, like. But if you wanted to remake the Warriors, like modern day, is what you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah, that'd be fucking ill. That man. game was badass. The game I want is Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic three. Okay, I played the second that'd one. The second tight. one was badass. What you, what's your other one. game? Ooh, fuck, Dig Dug, <laughs> dude, Dig Dug <laughs> Extreme. I don't know. Uh, I got both. My I'm an RPG up. style guy. I, I, what I want. They said they're not gonna make anymore, but I just it's such a beloved series. Is I want another. Bioshock. That would be tight. Okay. Bioshocks was, were fun. Like, I love Bioshock. I, the second one was pretty good, but I like One and Infinite, which were made by the, the same company, like right. the original. I'm going to go Manhunt. Oh, shit. I'm going to go Manhunt as number one, and my secondary is Bully. I would love to see oh, another one of each of those. Dude, Bully actually is something that I think with... Bully oh, overwhelmed man. They could do another Bully, and like it would be so fucking... It would get in so much trouble. It'd be on the View. It'd be on. I don't they, know what shows exist have, nowadays. Like, mass shooting Doctor yeah. Phil, mass shootings. All dude, they have uh, what? What is it? Twelve thousand different gender pronouns they can use <laughs> to make fun of people. Like they have. It's an open book. It'd be a great fucking game. It'd be like one of those crazy offensive yeah. rock star games that you're like like ready to play. I never got that deep into bully. When when games are that massive and there's that many options, I get overwhelmed and I stop playing. Really? I like, I like-